It's time to hack the movies. Today, we're talking about tapes. Talking about tapes. Buongiorno. Did I say it right? Buongiorno. Yes. Tony. Hello, Trisha. Hello, Frank. Hey. This is a very Italian episode. Molto, uh, molto italiano. We are talking about uh, a classic piece of cinema, which is turning 50 years old this week. The Godfather. Mario Puzo's The Godfather. Mm -hmm. Francis Ford Coppola, when he adapts a book, he makes it very clear that he wants the author's name on the title. He mm -hmm. did that with uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula, too. Oh, bravo. Mm. Uh, yes, The Godfather. Il Ooh. Padrino in Italiano. What? Il Padrino si chiama. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sì, sì. Oggi mean... parlo solo di italiano. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're going to need a little bit of English today. <laughs> speaking, of, <laughs> speaking of Coppola, mm. since we're talking about arguably his most famous movie, although people mm -hmm. like the second one more, uh, we should we should celebrate him by opening this nice bottle of Francis Ford Coppola's uh, Pinot Noir. Benissimo. Hey. And I brought out the nice King Ghidorah glass, and you guys will be drinking out of red Solo cups because we don't have good glasses here. Okay, yes. You see how we're treated here. <laughs> now, <laughs> luckily, movies. now Trisha, I want you to look at that, that wine bottle. Chasco. That is a twist off. <laughs> Oh yeah! So when Fiamente. so that's extra fancy. Real quick before we get into the movie here, um, Trisha twice now has bought me a bottle of wine to celebrate a new place that I'm living in, and both times I didn't have a corkscrew. <laughs> Literally both. Times. So both times we had to like chip away at the corkscrew and push it into the bottle, and I'm like, I'm like Trisha next. Attractive. I'm like Trisha next place. Just call me ahead of time yeah. and let me know. We're no. drinking wine with like cork. In it. You're not allowed to have any corks. Yeah. <laughs> Only terrible. twist offs for Tony. Yeah. Can anyway, yeah, it? yeah. Let's so, open. I mean, you got the corkscrew now. You might as well. No, no. Bottle with let's open it. <laughs> Watch your yeah, yeah. All right. Hey. Oh, it was we have to celebrate this Salud. beautiful movie. Salute. Were you drinking that already? <laughs> there we go. But, Again, I uh, want to thank uh, Ren great. on the Shade for getting me this beautiful King Ghidorah glass. Basta. Uh, well, it's an Italian version of of wine. You only pour a little bit. Oh, uh, okay. but if you want uh, more, no, it's fine. That's fine. <laughs> we don't, we'll we don't just split into thirds. This damn microphone. The microphone is cursed. Everyone hits the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's terrible. Every time I told you. Every time I sit here. I'm so yes, saying, the God of Father. The God of Father. I um for the first the time. Don't worry. This isn't going to be too much of a in the book episode. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't finish the book. I'm nearing the end, but it is pretty much the movie yeah. with very few changes and mm -hmm. very few subtractions. Uh, I'll it. mention a couple of the weird things. <laughs> the book is very horny. I just want to point that it's out. Horny. There. Yes, and I was listening to the audiobook, and it has the introduction by Francis Ford Coppola, and he initially didn't want to do this movie because mm -hmm. he read the book and he thought it was a little too sleazy. But it's very mm. Italian. See, that's what makes yes, it Italian, yes. you know. So what, uh, but then Italians he Italians are sleazy? <laughs> well, he thought the book was sleazy. Very uh, but then he was convinced to do it. He read it again. He's like, all right, I can work with this. And, uh, you know, this movie's about family, much mm -hmm. like the Olive Garden. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and he actually put a lot of his family in the movie. Now, Talia Shire. See him. Talia. Oh, you don't know about this, do you? I don't know, do I? So my dad calls her Talia oh. Shire. And he said that all during my childhood. Anytime Rocky <laughs> or the Godfather yeah. was on. So I know the name Talia. I can say Talia. Ask me ask me who Ra's al Ghul's daughter is. Who's Ra's al Ghul's daughter? Oh, Talia. Uh -huh. Ask me who played Bravo. Adrian and Rocky. Hey. Ask, ask me who played Adrian and Rocky. Who plays Adrian and Rocky? Oh, Talia Shire. I, I, he really screwed me up. It's just her. <laughs> There's two different women, all right? Yeah, it's it's <laughs> it's just her her. I can't I call her Talia and I have to like constantly check myself. I feel like that's normal though, because I feel like when you see the name Talia, it would be like Talia. Right? No, it's well, how Talia. Would you, how would you say Talia. it in, in Italian? I mean it Talia. wouldn't it'd, Well wouldn't anyway. Talia? Talia. Well maybe your maybe your dad's just extra Italian. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Talia Shire <laughs> is Francis Ford Coppola's <laughs> sister. Uh, so he Talia hired like her. Italia, right? Huh? Talia like Italia. Yes. That's probably. And then uh, his dad did some of the music. There, he had a lot of family members in this. I think mm -hmm. Sofia Coppola shows up. Yeah. So she's uh, the baby at the baptism yeah, at the, the end. Baptism. Yes. Yep. Yes. And then she shows up in Godfather Three. Two and three. Two and three, but yeah. three is where she was a last minute replacement for Winona Ryder, and yep. it didn't didn't pay off. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that one. 
Well, so we yes. Salute. We gotta oh yeah, yeah. We didn't just I thought we were salute. waiting for the wedding scene. Oh yeah. Salute. Oh, Alinizio. We have to. Uh, <laughs> we have to start the episode off right. Also, I want to tell you a little bit of an Italian thing. Hold on. Okay. When you do a brindisi, when you cheers your glasses, uh-huh. in Italian culture, you can never cross. Like, if you guys are going and I want to go with, like, with someone like that, you can never cross them at the same time. Like, you have, I have to wait for you guys to go, and then yeah. I have to go with oh, the other Oh, what do you say? That was bad luck? No, I wasn't cheersing it with anyone. It was fine. Do you tap, so I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> do you tap the table as in well general, when you're Well, you have to, yeah. <laughs> I didn't learn any of this stuff. <laughs> we're an and she's making it all up as she goes. It's not a real thing. Is that a Sicilian <laughs> thing or a Calabrian? It's an Italian thing. All right. I, what, I, I need to see if there's more movies in Calabria and learn what the hell there my are. Fa- we, we did the We the did one. one. We yeah. did a hor- the, we that, did that horror one. movie yeah, one. I don't think that's Netflix. the most accurate. There um, is another one. I, I'll tell you about it. But yes. Sure. So, yeah. uh, Mary Puzo's book. Very good. Uh, Did you he, suggest it? Uh, we'll get into uh, one thing that got the book in trouble, which led to a major change in this movie. A uh, certain character, his his mm-hmm. character is heavily reduced. <laughs> um, but yeah, turned into a movie by Francis uh, Ford Coppola. Uh, when was the first time you saw this movie? Oh, God. Uh, probably with my dad in uh, in the 90s. No. Sitting on the, sitting on the couch and uh, not going to say what. Now, did you watch it on TV or did you... Did your did your dad also spring for the Godfather collection? No, yeah, we own we own the collection as well. With the bonus yeah. interviews yeah. at the beginning yeah. of the movie. Oh, nice. So if you've never seen the movie, you get to see all these bonus stuff that spoils the movie you're about to watch. <laughs> exactly. It's like Coppola it's put dumb. put that at the end of the movie. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's on TV a lot, so I watch it every yeah. single time. It's you know what TV. I've never yeah. watched? And actually today my 4K trilogy is being delivered. Mm-hmm. Of course. Of course. Just like with Midsummer, yeah. didn't get delivered in time. <laughs> Um, I've never seen the Godfather Legacy. It's where he takes one and two and he recut it in chronological order. Oh, I've never watched really? that version, but Did, they play was, that on TV. Wasn't there another one that just came out that like they tried to cut all? He three re-edited or, part three, but we'll right? get to that. Oh, in a re-edited later time. part three. Yeah. yeah. Uh, right. Yes. I so. actually only saw the Godfather for the first time the other night. I get out of town. You saw it before, but no. you didn't remember it. No. How are you, my sister? So I've only <laughs> seen bits and pieces. So like when okay. you were watching it with dad, like all those times it was on yeah, TV, yeah. whatever. I only saw it, like I remember like the part like diverse parts of the film, but I actually never saw it because I honestly always thought that it was just filled with s- Italian stereotypes, which <laughs> now I know. She thinks it's all satire. Which yeah. now I know to be not true, and I'm gonna get into why I think that is. Yes. At the end. Uh, what, what are those stereotypes that we're all criminals? Yeah, exactly. The mafia, well, you know. Wow. Well, Everything that goes on I mean, with that. Come on, don't. I mean, let's uh, uh, don't. maybe not all of us, but uh, let's, uh anyway. <laughs> Listen, man, I only went to prison once. It doesn't. Well, the thing is, it doesn't glorify the mafia, which is no, it really doesn't, which is what I thought that it would do and why I didn't see it, because I was like, why would I want to see something that's well, no, it really doesn't. The actual actual mob was like fighting against it the whole time. Oh, yeah. There's a whole thing with the the Joe Colombo. Mm -hmm. He was um, uh, what was it? The. uh, the defamation of Italian Americans. Yes. He was fighting against it and actually took the the words mafia and mob completely out of the film. Yeah, exactly. That's so, right. and then during the filming of it, he got shot in, <laughs> in the middle of New York. He claimed that he wasn't a mob boss. Yeah. But then it came out that he killed fifteen to twenty men through his lifetime, and then seven years later, he died. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, actually, uh, in that um, introduction to the novel, the Coppola wrote, "I forget." Uh, if it was the first or second movie, I think it might've been the first movie. Um, so Mario Puzo told Coppola, like never interact with the mafia, never get into that world, mm-hmm. never do him any favors uh-huh. that just no, don't, don't, don't accept any invitations. And it's funny. Coppola is like when he was making Dracula, he was just like, he's like, when I was making Dracula, the whole thing, you have to invite the vampire in. He's just like, it reminded me of what Mario Puzo said about yeah. the mob. Mm-hmm. And at one point during the filming, his assistant is like, hey, John Gotti wants to meet you. And oh, Coppola was like, no. Yeah. And he just turned down John Gotti. <laughs> I don't exactly. know, man. He's maybe. like, nope, I was warned about this. Maybe uh-uh. maybe he had John Gotti kill Joe Colombo because he was trying to shut him down. Mm. 
Maybe there's interest. something shady happening behind the scenes over there. So yes, let's uh, let's get into this wonderful film. Let's oh, do it. I also saw this in the '90s, by the way. <laughs> exactly. You're Italian, Tony. Also, by yeah. the way, I just want to point out. I know we keep like delaying the. Yeah. Oh wow, wow! Yeah. This show has never done that before. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say how great we all look today. We look like, so we came great. We our best dressed Italian. I feel like I look like very Sicilian. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I actually got these earrings in Sicily the other week when I was there in Erice, which is uh, Provincia di Palermo. They're oh. little oranges, wow. so Sicily. Hey. Famous for their oranges. Is Sicily <laughs> famous for their oranges? They are. We're gonna get well. Let's cut to our today. Sicilian correspondent. Uh, Sicilian correspondent. Why are oranges <laughs> so significant to Sicily? Orange are very famous in Sicily, especially because uh, they grow near uh, Mount Etna. So, do the fertile and uh, high water they, of the ground, they can grow without any problem. You know, when Tony called me last week to do this, I thought he was saying that it, he was having a baptism and wanted me to be the godfather. <laughs> so I got I got all dressed up today thinking that I was going to be gonna the godfather. You were going to take me in the water. <laughs> and it turns Don't out that we're baptized. reviewing the godfather. Are you a godfather? I'm a godfather. I am not. Ah, no, I have a godfather. I'm not. I mean. Are you a godmother? Shout out uh, Uncle Fausto. No, no, no. My, god, my goddaughter. I called my goddaughter for a birthday the other day. And she, I was like, how old are you now? And she's like, 13. And then she said, you got to show me cooler horror movies. And I'm like, all <laughs> yeah, right, <exactly>. okay. <laughs> Perfect You're god in luck. Daughter. I'm the cool godfather. <laughs> uh, anyway, you need to movie opens up with a man who wants revenge on two men who beat his daughter, uh, but they got off free. Well, their like sentences, their sentence was like delayed or whatever. Like they got, they were in trouble, but they didn't have to serve jail was, time. Uh, the baker, right? Uh, no, the yeah. Undertaker. That was the under I'm sorry, yes. The, yes. The, the, the mortician. <laughs> yes, the mortician. So we, when we were watching the movie, I was like, anytime I hear Undertaker, I just think of the wrestler. It's true. Yeah. All the time. All the time. You used to watch that too all the time. I still do. As a awesome. matter of fact, uh, Jessica, anytime we mention the Undertaker in this movie, can you just Photoshop the Undertaker onto him? <laughs> uh, so he's all like, Godfather, I, I trusted the American justice system uh, and it failed me. Uh, I need revenge done. And then we get to see Marlon Brando. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, very fa character. very famous role. I think he got best, uh, best actor yep. for this, right? One, one best yeah. actor, but also didn't accept, didn't accept it. because it. Yeah, that's when Native he sent the, the Native American girl. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Mm -hmm. I mean, not live. That was 50 mm -hmm. years ago, but I remember yeah. seeing stuff <laughs> yeah. about that. that. Yeah, I remember that. Tony, how old are you? <laughs> <laughs> well, according to like Johanna and Justin, I'm like 180. Well, there you go. Um, that makes sense. So the the funny thing is, and we were laughing during Marlon Brando stuff. It's like it's not the movie's fault. It's a very serious, important thing, mm. but it's been parodied so many times yeah. that when you go back and watch it, it's he's yeah, kind it's of funny. It's like comical it. now. Everybody's tried it. Yeah. You don't even think to call me Godfather. Instead, you come into my house on the day my daughter's to be married, and you ask me to do murder. I know, but it's just like when you see him. I think of like uh, in Seinfeld when they impersonate him. I think yeah. of uh, the God, yeah, God Pigeon and the Animaniacs with the stupid. <laughs> so it's like I feel bad laughing at him because it's a good performance and everything. It's like oh, it's not his fault that no, it kind of exactly. became a joke. After uh, it was it was his revival, man. He had to he wanted to go over the top and really uh, yeah. really dove actually, into I'm, it. I'm, I I'm actually curious because I never looked it up. But why does he talk like that? Like does, did something happen? So he wanted to that? he wanted to look like a bulldog. Like yes. he kind of wanted so to that look was just ferocious. Like a thing. There was no backstory. So, so there's a audition tape out there that's now lost. No one can mm. find it anywhere. Everyone else's audition tapes are, are found except for his. He stuffed his cheek with tissues and drew on a, a fake mustache, slicked back his hair, and acted like a you know sixty year old uh, you know year old man. And supposedly it was one of the best audition tapes ever. Everyone was blown away. They mm. brought him on board. Uh, and then once they were on set, they actually made, uh, the, a dentist made like a, a whole uh, mm. contraption for yeah. him to wear. To oh, yeah. They, they used like makeup and stuff to yeah, build right. the thing. But it was based off his audition. Yeah. yeah, he was just like a weird guy. He made <laughs> weird. I, honestly, I'm surprised. At, like reading the book and stuff and knowing how he was later on in life. Yeah. It's like, I'm surprised he didn't make more weird changes. Mm -hmm. Did yeah. you ever hear about what he wanted to do with Superman? No. He played uh -huh. Jor-El in Superman. Yeah. Superman's like Kryptonian father. Mm -hmm. And he tried to convince the director that, like, hey, on Krypton, since he's an alien, what if he looked like a donut? 
And I could just no, look get like, out of town. He could just look get like a donut. You never heard this story? <laughs> yeah, he told the director, like, I could just look like a donut. And go put a donut over his face every time. Which we're okay. Um, Richard Donner had to be like, he had to be like, Marlon, like, all, all the kids know who drew out, like, you're going to really upset them if you were a goddamn donut. So he's like, all right. <laughs> he was a horse of a different color. <laughs> yeah. uh, although he made weird changes yeah. if you ever get to uh, Island of Dr. Moreau or, you know. I've, I, I've, I've seen parts of it. Or Full yeah. Metal Jacket, where, or not Full Metal Jacket, Apocalypse, Apocalypse Now, now. Yeah. where he showed up uh, like 300 pounds, like way overweight and stuff. So, it's a whole mess. <laughs> uh, but yes, he's really, really good in this. Mm. Uh, and now, Frank, you're, you're an actor. You're, you're an actress. Every once in a while. Um, how, how hard is it to memorize lines? Uh, well, it depends on how dedicated you are, Tony. Yeah. Uh, now, why don't you just write all your lines on a big piece of paper and have your co-star wear them? You know, sometimes they wrote them on people's chests as well. Yes. Just in case. <laughs> there but, is a behind the but, scenes photo of that. But what he says is, you know, is, uh, is what Francis Ford Coppola says is that uh, he wanted to make it seem more like um, Vito was struggling for his words and, and thinking in a you know very strategic way mm. so that he would take his time saying the words. Ah. But, or you could take it as he just didn't want to you know memorize his lines and they just wrote it all over the room. <laughs> I mean, I think Christopher Walken does that too. I, Christopher Walken does it when it's like live. If you ever watch Saturday Night Live, well, he's constantly yeah, looking yeah, at yeah, his yeah. cue card. That's a funny part of, of SNL though, when yeah. they do do that. Uh, like, apparently yeah. Christopher Walken, I don't know if this is like a joke or if it's real, he takes the punk punctuation out of his scripts and that's why his line <laughs> deliveries are always so weird <laughs> like, that's just, hilarious. like his sentences are like oh, weird no. it is like it, whatever. it's a special script yeah. christopher uh, walken wants no punctuation <laughs> <laughs> so the don uh he's very upset with amerigo uh because like he hasn't he didn't come to him first mm -hmm. uh he doesn't even call him godfather anymore but uh he agrees to help him with the uh, the situation, he's going to have those guys beat up, which Fair we never favorite. see. Yeah. This so this movie is a pretty good adaptation of the book, where it's like you kind of get the idea. They don't need to like linger on things. No, like exactly. you know, those guys are going to get beat up. We don't need to you see it because yeah. it's not important to the overall story. Mm -hmm. the story like um. So yeah, they. Uh, but he tells him one day, and I pray that day never comes. I'm going to need a favor from you, and you're going to have to do that. That's like yeah. the Don's and a, thing. And all right. three of these favors, they come back around. Through yes. The too, which yeah. Is that's great. that's the Don's thing. He's like, hey, I'm going to do you a favor. I'll do yeah. it for free, but yeah. you're going to owe me this. This first wedding scene, like this first one. 20 minutes literally sets up the movie so well yes and that's why it's such a great movie because it, it sets up all the different storylines through it mm -hmm. and they and they really run through them all oh by the way the yeah, cat the famous cat mm -hmm. was a cat they found on set they're like <laughs> hey <laughs> you should have a cat she was so cuddly too. that's why the cat yeah the cat is like so excited because it's never seen these people before it's like hi hi i'm in a movie it's like a really friendly cat it's like what's up okay <laughs> i love how it just like throws it on the table like, <laughs> like here get away <laughs> but now that's a change because there is a part in the book where he mentions how he doesn't like animals so oh, <laughs> i guess that yeah, is a change oh yeah the character doesn't like animals like every single goddamn picture he's holding <laughs> Yeah. Maybe in that moment is when he figured out he doesn't like animals because we never see him with an animal again. Yeah, that's yeah. true. He's like, you know what? I don't really like He's animals. He threw the cat on the table and he said, "Fuck it, I'm done." Um, I'm over you. But yeah, definitely look at the uh, the behind the scenes of just the actors wearing the big cute. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Actually, that's cool. But I like that theory that you know he was trying to take yeah, time yeah. with the lines. Um, so yeah, uh, like I said, Talia Shire plays Talia. Talia, Talia. plays Talia. Connie. Um, so yeah, the movie uses all their nicknames throughout. Mm -hmm. The the book doesn't. Yeah. So whenever I'm reading, like listening to the book, and it says C Constanza, I'm like, oh, who the, I'm like, who the fuck is that? Like, oh, Connie, Connie. Yeah. Oh, Capito. Uh, she, yeah. So she. What is he Sunny's name? In huh? Italian. Uh, Santino. Yeah, oh, Santino. Santino. So he's Sunny. Which, so yeah. uh, Coppola didn't want to cast his sister in the role because in the move in, in the book it's described she's like uh, a little Too heavier beautiful. and a little. A little yeah. hairier. I don't know if you know this Italian women, they uh, have dark hair. Uh, I don't know if you're familiar with this. Uh, and he thought his sister was too pretty for the role. Yeah. Uh, but apparently Mario Puzo, who I guess had a crush oh, on her, was like... <laughs> Mario Puzo was like, no, she's fine. Have her in the movie. He was like, okay, all right. <laughs> uh, but yes, uh, James Caan plays Sonny. Yep. Robert Duvall plays Tom Hagen. And John Cazale plays Fredo. Alfredo. Yeah. Fettuccina Alfredo. That's where the... Came from. Well, that's a very offensive name, by the way. <laughs> All oh, at man. the very start of their career, too. So it was very... <laughs> yeah, really early on, before yeah. they were like really big names. Before they were big names yeah. when they were when they were casting. Um, uh, Francis wanted 
um, uh, Al Pacino to play the role, but the studios didn't. So they mm. they spent over like four hundred thousand dollars on uh, on test screenings, and it was said that he kept on slipping in Al Pacino because <laughs> he liked him so much. So oh. eventually they were like, "All right, fine, you know, go with him. He's good for it." And then because him and uh, Diane Keaton's their uh, their chemistry was like outstanding supposedly yeah. while they were doing yeah things. i always forget diane keaton's in this she looks yeah. so different. different not even age she just looks like but a different just, person looks yeah. Different. Yeah. um look like yeah so al pacino like you said is michael and he's there with his girlfriend Kay, played by diane, diane keaton he's just back from the war so world war ii is like just ended recently yeah uh and he's wearing his military outfit mm. at the wedding he's a war hero yes uh but he's like filling in k on who some of the people are there which he shouldn't be doing, but he's just like, ah, fuck it. <laughs> They're just very um, confident people. And we actually get to see him home. early on, but we get to see uh, Barzini, mm -hmm. right? The crime boss Barzini, Barzini, played by, I forget his name, but we watched him in Return of the Exorcist. Oh, yeah. The oh, other, gosh. watch our episode, The <laughs> Other Exorcist yeah, 3. <laughs> Uh, this actor who plays Barzini, he was the exorcist in that movie, and it's yeah. a fucking awful movie. It's horrible. But it's so fucking bad. Great. <laughs> I don't think I've seen it. Yeah, he, he did <laughs> this. He did this movie, which is like amazing, and then he did a shitty <laughs> exorcist dog off a few years later, and then he died. Well, you got your ups and downs. <laughs> Uh, um, so Connie, they're at the wedding, right? And Connie's marrying a non-Italian, which is already a problem. Yes, like they already <laughs> off the movie, like, terribly. Technically, Carl is uh, is the the main character in this because we see him beginning to end through the whole. Thing. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> uh, yeah. So, what are some of the Italian wedding traditions here? So here, actually, well, they're getting married in New York, right? Yes. This is where it was. Yes. Um, what? So they're on uh, yeah. Long Island, I is think. Island? I think it's Long Island. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I don't know. I just saw like some of the traditions, obviously, the the music being played, the traditional wedding music in Italy, like the traditional folk mm -hmm. music. Um, they also, I, they didn't really show it in the film, but it's an Italian-American wedding tradition would be like the bomboniere, like the Jordan almonds. You remember those? Yeah, like yeah, going yeah, to yeah. like every yeah. wedding as a kid. I'm sure you have to I, like, uh, the candied almonds. Well, no, my, okay. So. Do you ever have those? So before my cousin Natalie years ago uh the only public wedding in my family was like my aunt when i was like four all my cousins got secretly married after oh, that <laughs> so so i haven't like gone to a lot of italian weddings <laughs> i okay, actually so haven't wasn't invited oh anymore God. they were like and my well. sister's wedding wasn't <laughs> super italian so i i'm actually very unfamiliar with italian weddings <laughs> what are so. they called again what are bomoniere bomoniere would be like the little like gifts that you give at the yeah. end of the wedding in italian american culture you give the jordan almonds yeah, yeah. Um, but in Italy, you actually give like real gifts to people. Like people who mm. come to the wedding, like yeah. you'll give them like a picture frame, or you'll give them a bottle of wine, or like something yeah. nice for their house. Yeah. You've gotten me both those things. <laughs> oh. You've literally given me a picture frame. Married. And a bottle of wine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit! I wasn't even married. Oh, no. <laughs> so yeah. Um, but during this, uh, before we get into this lovely <laughs> song, uh, Sunny sneaks out to. To bone the bridesmaid, yeah, setting up secretly for Godfather Three. Uh, he's he's he's, he's currently making Andy Garcia. <laughs> 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 Show him that he's not really a real yeah. man, you know. This whole this whole movie's about about family and sticking with your family, yeah. and, and you can see the the trends even just in this beginning scene of of how you know calm mm -hmm. and collective Michael is, and how his two brothers are are all over the place and, and yeah. you know and for themselves. Yeah, yeah. They, this movie paints uh, Italian men as not being faithful. That's a lie, right? <laughs> well, Michael <laughs> never cheats, lie. so well that we don't see. So. Well, yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, but like, it's, you've never cheated on Italians a girl, right? Italians are right? Latin lovers. <laughs> Yeah, Never neither have I. Neither have I. I am so not okay right I'm now. Just, no, Italian men <laughs> are very. This is why I have trust issues. This is this is, this is one of the animals. look look look. This is one of the uh, <laughs> just the blatant lies that Italian men you know they just <laughs> run around man. Listen, I was in high it's school. A lie. Okay? Oh my god, guys. <laughs> it's a lie. Don't ask anyone I went to college with, but it's a lie. Um. So anyway, uh, <laughs> yes. Then they sing this song. Tell me about this song here. C'è la luna mezza mare. <laughs> which I believe. Right. It's Sicilian. Which I believe is the song that Yakko sings when he's doing the country of the worlds in Animaniacs. No, get Should out of town. I think it is. I, Jessica. I don't know. Go ahead, is. sing it. Let's see. Jessica, play it back to back. I want to know if it's the song. But yeah, can <laughs> you sing it for us? I don't. I don't. Excuse my Sicilian, guys. Okay, ready? C'è la luna mezza mare, mamma mia, mamma mia, Figlia mia, cutte dare, mamma mia, pensacce tu. Hey! Hey, come on, I'm going to Hey, come on, mi 
boy, I'm Arita. Hey. My favorite is so so Mama Mama Corleone is singing it at first, and then they bring up some old guy. Some old guy. And my favorite part is he's getting real into it. His dentures fall out. Of he's killing it. Oh man. Um. Yes. Uh. And you apparently said this is on TikTok. Oh my gosh, yes. Yeah. So this song is like all over TikTok. You, you guys probably recognize it from like the the ones where they're like doing. doing this. I did a whole video on TikTok about this because yeah. they're like <laughs> going around their nonna's house, their grandmother's house, and they're just like going like this to like random objects that make them look Italian. But like <laughs> this actually means like kikazzo, like what the F are you doing? Like kikazzo. So like if you're like going like this in front of your nonna, you're like nonna. <laughs> 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 Bellissimo. So yeah, don't use that song, guys. Uh, and they're uh, they're having some gabagool. Oh God, they that, are. Doesn't he say that. capicoli? No, he says gabagool. Uh, I swear, to God, he? he said gabagool, which is actually really interesting because they use a lot of the Italian American dialect in yeah. this movie, well, which I good. really liked. Yeah. Um, and I'm actually gonna get into more. I think when they're talking Italian, I'll get more into like how they use the language and stuff. Now, now this next scene is great. We meet Luca Brazzi. Mm. Uh, played by a famous wrestler, apparently yeah. he was a like a cir- I think he was like a circus strongman and a professional wrestler. Um, and he looks like um, when Johanna's nephew was a baby; they looked exactly <laughs> oh, alike. Um, so he's practicing his speech <laughs> on what he's going to say yeah. to Don, which is great. Uh, but this is added because later on, when he meets the Don, he screws up his line. And Francis Ford Coppola actually liked how nervous he was because yeah. the actor was nervous to act with Mar- like he's a fucking wrestler and he's acting with Marlon Brando, like one of the most celebrated actors. I love so him. he's nervous. Mm-hmm. Yep. He screwed up the line and Francis Ford Coppola just really liked it. So they added this scene of him practicing the line. Yep. So it makes sense when he screws it up later. So supposedly they yeah. shot it so, so many takes of it yeah. to where they were like, all right, like, you know, let's just. Let's just keep it how it is, and then yeah, yeah. And, uh, on him, on him practicing this, it the day of your daughter's so. wedding. I am honored and grateful that you have invited me to your home on the wedding day of your daughter. I am honored and grateful that you have invited me to your daughter's wedding. Yeah. Fucking uh, Ar- <laughs> when Artie Lang was on the Howard Stern show, he would like do this all the time. He would like he would just do this scene like verbatim. Artie Lang. Um, we I never actually it. get to see. Yeah. Luca's ruthlessness uh, in the book, like he is their enforcer. Yeah, yeah. he oh, is really? a vicious murderer. He like oh, he looks so like he's, he's so sweet and well, cuddly. well, like because in that first scene you see the <laughs> soft side of him, yeah. and you yeah. and you start to feel for him. I mean, as you know, a, a man who's probably killed yeah tons of people. Oh, he's killed a bunch of people, like very violently. Too, they have yeah. like there's a whole like flashback thing where like. He like takes an axe really? and he just cuts a guy's leg off like while he's still alive. And so he's a very like brutal well, murderer. That's why the other yeah. boss went after him first. Yes, like, well, that that is that oh, is yeah. why they target clip. him first because yeah. he's like their most lethal enforcer. Yeah. It's horrible. Um, so yeah, uh, then we also meet um, the Don's godson, Johnny Fontaine. <laughs> uh, he comes to the wedding and he sings for Connie. Johnny. Uh, yeah, so the story of Johnny Fontaine. Mm-hmm. Uh, Using the mob to get out of a contract with a band Sounds familiar, leader. Doesn't it? Yeah, so it's believed that it's based <laughs> off uh uh what's his name Frank Sinatra. Frankie Sinatra. Although Johnny Fontaine, he looks like Dean Martin, but he uh, they think it was based yeah. off Frank Sinatra. That's what I was thinking too. Like yeah. it could be Dean Martin, but cool. so uh, guess who wasn't a fan of the book? Frank, Frank Sinatra, Sinatra. Uh, <laughs> and he actually he actually was in like. Like in proximity to Mario Puzo at it, like some, I think it was a restaurant or something. Mm. How the story goes, yeah. and like they him. asked if they wanted if he wanted to meet Mario Puzo, yeah, to like maybe like talk it over and stuff. Uh, oh, and apparently Frank Sinatra just kept screaming that he wanted him to choke, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and he like really, oh, really. Yeah. By the way. He got I too mean, angry, so now it makes me believe that it's yeah. I was just gonna say yeah. he's whenever that someone offended. gets a little yeah. too angry about yeah. something, it's like, all right, uh, now I think it's that real. That could exactly. be true then. If, Frank. Here's how you do it. Like, hey, this uh singer and the guy, is it based off you? <laughs> what? No. No, exactly. Uh, it's, yeah, okay. Oh, it's, it's, oh it's my god, right. you believe that shit? Instead oh, of like, tell him to go choke. <laughs> yeah, it's like, all right, well, I think you I think it might be real the way you're acting. <laughs> this, this scene also brings up uh, one of my favorite lines in it. When he's when he stands when he starts crying and he's like, "Well, you should act like a man." Smacks the shit out. <laughs> Which I agree. I agree. Have you ever seen a grown man cry? Uh, it's like, oh. Uh, <laughs> every time I see a grown man cry, I just wish Marlon Brando could come back. To well, life it depends on what he's crying Aww, because there's a depends. lot of crying in this film. 
I mean, every almost everybody cries except for except for Michael. Marlon Brando should have slapped himself when he cried at one point. <laughs> he cries twice in this film, doesn't he? So, but yeah, I'm just thinking of like losers who upload videos of them crying on YouTube, like Kevin Smith. I just really want Marlon Brando to slap Kevin Smith. Yeah. Oh, leave Kevin Smith alone. <laughs> He's crying way too much. He's, he's crying. He's crying for attention. He's a very yes, emotional he's man. Crying for, I can't stand you know, grown men emotion. crying for attention. He's it's a like, very oh. emotional man. I also am a big Kevin Smith fan. Really? Modern Kevin Smith? I like Kevin Smith. He likes him. It was Frank's last episode. Anyway. Uh, um, <laughs> no, hey. Kevin Smith, call him. So Johnny wants a part in this movie, but this big Hollywood producer, Waltz, won't let him be in the movie. And the Don insists that he will. Oh, by the way, the slap was improvised. That's why he was. Looks, that's why he looks so startled. So, so his his other line in that scene. That's um, uh, what is it? Uh, you can't something about the family. What does he say? A grown man. A grown man should never. Take well, that's after this part. No, no, it's when he's. It's he's when like uh, still... a man who doesn't spend time with his family isn't a real man. Oh, or something oh, like that. Still, yeah. Oh, sorry, yeah, I thought right. we were jumping. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but Johnny, uh, his family is never a real man. You yeah. are correct. Yeah. So we don't really see Johnny again until way later in the film. Because I guess the producers were like, oh, God, Frank is going to, like, go after this it's movie. Let's just heavily reduce the character. Yeah, they stole all. the subplot of him getting the role, but they cut out all the stuff about, like, his uh, his his co-singer, him getting the Oscar, him partying with, oh, like, geez. old Hollywood people, uh, <laughs> him not being a fan of 69s. That's a thing. <laughs> That's if you if you like this movie, don't read the book. You're gonna find out way oh. too much about these characters. <laughs> about their sexual preferences. Yeah, about their sexual preferences. Like it's really like like, like why? why do I know? like Mario Puzo? He gets <laughs> sidetracked and he just keeps <laughs> talking about all the sex stuff. It's like, dude, can we get? <laughs> And that's get why that, this confuses me because Francis Ford Coppola cut out most of the sex stuff from this. But in Bram Stoker's yeah. Dracula, he added a bunch added of sex stuff. So I'm like, wow, what happened in the decades? Well, that by that point, just... he was like, I should have added the sex stuff in Godfather. <laughs> Screw it. Because there is a lack of sex in the Bram Stoker Dracula book. And Francis yeah. is like, nah, I need to add a lot added more. It. And it's like, all right, well, we're doing the opposite. They're vampires. The they have sex boring. All the time. That's why. <laughs> uh, yeah, so Don Vito finally attends the wedding. Yeah, like <laughs> three hours. Waiting. By the way, there's some really good scenes in the wedding. Uh, the, the wedding is like its own little mini movie. Mm -hmm. The FBI is out taking oh. license plate numbers mm -hmm. and Sonny comes out freaking out and he like smashes the camera and everything, gives him money to pay for it. I love that. But that's an act. Like, this is like one of the things if you like read the book, that's like an act. All those cars are rented. Because the Don told them all to like rent cars, really? don't bring oh, your yeah. actual cars. Oh. And then Sonny is acting mad, so the FBI thinks, thinks that that's the real car. Oh, shit. That, yeah. yeah, I mean, it works either way. If you didn't yeah, read the book, yeah, yeah. you just see him being yeah. angry. Same but if you thing. know that detail, like, oh, that's actually really clever. Makes it more interesting. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, but yeah, also, I mean, if you're going to cheat on your wife, I mean, first off, don't. <laughs> But if you do, maybe don't do it with the bridesmaid at the wedding that you're currently at. I just that I wouldn't do that. I mean, that's yeah. that just seems like you're just looking for trouble. He to be honest, like he's like that all the time, anyway. So. <laughs> sure, his wife knows. Damn Italians. I also so, I also like uh, like a lot of the shots before he uh, like while uh, the Don is still in his office. A lot hmm. of the shots are very like just wide shots from like just the whole crowd and it yeah. kind of gives that look to where he's like looking through his mm -hmm. uh, his blinds mm -hmm. to where like there's really no close up shots through it until you're on Michael when he shows up with Kay uh, yeah. to where it kind of just shows like, you know, Vito's like still looking over the party and waiting for Michael and then the, as soon as he shows up, you, there's a close up right on him. Oh, that's good. message for our Sicilian correspondent. Is it true that on the day of a Don's daughter's wedding, he has to honor any favor that you ask of him. Is that is that true? Is that true? Nah, come on. Is that so stereotype? Thank you to our Sicilian correspondent. I don't know if he wants his real name in the episode. We'll call him <laughs> Sicilio. Also, and supposedly <laughs> the word Don yeah. isn't wasn't really like formed with the mob yet. It was more like Don in Italian means more towards uncle, right? Yeah, no. well, but like mafia meant like refuge or something originally. And it was like a whole thing. They go into it in the book where like it was like kind of formed to go against the government that Mussolini was running because mm -hmm. uh, they were very anti Mussolini. Yeah. Right. Unlike uh. unlike my family, as I found anyway. out. <laughs> oh my god. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I am against Mussolini, but well, apparently 
my ancestors in the 40s, they were like, he's not so bad. Uh, all right. Don well, actually. Come on. Um, <laughs> go. I'm, I'm against him. I, I, look, look, I'm going to say it right now, and I've said this on another show recently. Mussolini, out of line. Don't agree with him. Anyway, continue. <laughs> um, well, no, actually, the word Don is like a term of respect and like reverence, okay. actually. So right. it, it doesn't actually mean like Don, like the head of the mafia, whatever yeah. it is. But Don is like, you can actually use it for like priests and stuff, too. Mm. Like there's a really famous yeah. Italian show in Italy called Don Matteo, which is just like Father Matteo. So he's like, just, you know, respected. Thanks for the fun so, fact. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. I'm going to watch my that. Specialty. Check out my TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> you should, actually. Italian so uh, the wedding ends. Mm -hmm. uh, Tom goes to Wait, Hollywood. Wait, hold on, guys. I'm sorry, but like we ran out of wine. Okay. Oh, okay. Hip, hip, oh, by hip, the way, hip. Tom Hagen We are never is... going to get through this three-hour film. <laughs> Tom Hagen <laughs> is the uh, consigliere to the Don. Consigliere. No, consigliere. 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 No, consigliere. No, no, no. no my, my version sounds fun. <laughs> yeah. uh, so consigliere. We're doing some Italian lessons today, too. Oh, boy. I like how you're like, Italians only do a little bit of wine. Oh, well, you know, you're Tony, so you're a little bit more this She time. said, screw it. This is a work day. I want to oh, remind no, you. No. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? So, it's not nighttime. So Tom Hagen is the adopted brother. Well, he's not even really adopted. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. No, how, how do, wait, wait. How do we do it? How, this, salute. Boom. And then you guys. Salute. <laughs> Ah, there we go. Okay. Carry on. Okay. Oh, yeah. hit the okay. Andiamo. <laughs> so. Buona Savina. <coughs> Whoa. <laughs> Wrong bite. Somebody oh, always uh. dies on these shows. <laughs> so Tom, uh, <laughs> adopted son, but not actually adopted. He's not like legally adopted. Um, Sonny brought him in when he was a kid because his like parents died. Mm. Uh, like his dad drank himself to death, I think, and his mom was... Huh? Is he Irish? He's Irish, yeah. He's like Irish German. Mm. Um <clears throat> which is actually funny. I think which, with, with the scene coming up, it's pretty funny. <laughs> uh so he was like adopted and he was like brought into the family and he's basically like a, a brother to all of them. Yep. And he's basically like a son. The Don like trusts him more than his actual son. The only Fredo and son. The only son that Don <clears throat> really, really trusts with everything is Michael, but mm -hmm. he felt betrayed by Michael for going to the to war, the which he yeah. was against. Uh, so like Tom is like his guy. Sonny's a hothead. Fredo's an idiot. <laughs> yeah, we learned Fredo. that. Yeah, <laughs> he's my favorite. Tom is his guy. <laughs> so he sends Tom to Hollywood to talk to the the producer Waltz, uh, and Waltz refuses to let Johnny Fontaine in the movie, <laughs> and he hates Italians. I don't care how many baseball goofballs come out of the woodwork. I'm German Irish. He oh, says he some very him. mean very words mean to words. Italians. Did. Honestly, like. Don't uh, say them. <laughs> Don't can I say them. No. no. Well, I mean, we can say them <laughs> because there are words that we're but allowed like, are to. Are we allowed to on YouTube? But I don't. You, for YouTube, let's just not. Okay, well, we're not going to do. do it. But you said like, the F word twice already. Don't say <laughs> it. <laughs> I'm just going to ask you, Tony, how did your day go? That's, that's all I'm going to say. Oh, you. <laughs> 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 My mother was Irish. She used to ask asking. me that every day after work. I said, thanks, Mom. <laughs> How did your day go, Tony? <laughs> You're, that's mean. You're going to lose followers from that. Anyway, but it's funny. Italian. It's funny. The the Italian guy, uh, or the, the producer, he's saying all this anti-Italian stuff to Tom, and Tom's like, I'm not Italian. <laughs> he's like, I'm like, I don't care. It doesn't bother me. I, also I love forget the way if he that... says it in the movie, but in the book, apparently he smiles and he goes, I'm German, yeah, you know, no, Irish. Movie, yeah. I, I also love how he just completely curses him out, and then the second, then the next scene, as soon as he finds out that he's with Vito, he just welcomes him oh, to yeah, his well, house. Oh, yeah, realize No problem. Like, you should have told me. He's like, like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, can I show you my very expensive horse Lord, that I care about more stuff. than anything on Earth? <laughs> so random. It's the most beautiful horse. I'm going to breed him and it's great and I'm telling you yeah. a guy that like, I'm not really friends with about if I ever do anything wrong you can kill it or you know yeah. steal it or whatever you want to do $400,000 horse wasn't it $600,000 $600,000 horse in 1945 Mama. money that's what? a lot millions a lot. of dollars yeah. so uh, he's very what upset he's what very upset because Johnny uh, Fontaine <laughs> cucked him yeah. <laughs> Goddamn Frank Sinatra. I mean, Johnny Funny. <laughs> uh, and that's the thing. He's like, look, um, I know that Don can help me with all the labor trouble, the, like, the union labor troubles I'm going to have. He's like, I will literally do anything for Don Vito. 
I will not do this because I hate Johnny Fontaine. Except for that. What does he say? He's uh, like, that girl was the best piece of ass I ever had. And I had them all. <laughs> them all. I would do which is, which is funny because it's like, do you think that. <laughs> but I want to. Because <laughs> <Anyway. laughs> they were hanging out all day, right? Showing them all of his stuff. They're drinking because the first scene when he shows up, he's like, how do you like your drink? All right. So, you know, they're drinking. So by the time dinner comes around, he probably was a little sloshed. Yeah. Got some bigger balls. And he turned around. And he said, you know what? F the Don. Yeah, yeah. This is, I'm going to be bigger man here. Yeah. Well, because, um, what do they call him? Pencil Novante. What, what's that word? Pet oh, uh, Pencil Novante. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. That's what they call the, the producer. And like, what, what does that mean again? Because they give it the name to like it. a bunch of people. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, he's like, he thinks he's a big shot because he's like on the press. He like, he was in charge of making like uh, propaganda for the president mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So he tells him, he's like, I'm not afraid of Don Vito. And he mentions the band leader incident. He's like, oh, yeah, I heard that story. You're not going to get me. And then Tom Hagen's like, okay. All right, no problem. Let uh, me jump on a plane exactly. tonight. The Don likes to hear bad news right away. Yeah, yeah. Let me get on the plane. Uh, the next day, Waltz wakes up covered in blood and uh, oh, cuts man. to the famous scene of the horse head. In Family Guy, right? <laughs> but the scene that's been parodied a billion times. And that's the thing, I've never actually seen this scene in the movie. I've only really? seen the parodied version. So like I knew it was gonna happen, yeah, yeah. but when I actually saw it, I was like horrified. Like, ah! So supposedly it's out there that they used a, a fake head for rehearsals and all that, and, and then and then before they, they shot the actual thing, they snuck in a real head in there. And Is that what they like no? I don't think it's like so. I don't know if it's a rumor, but it's I yeah, think that's well, they said it was real though. Huh? They used a real horse. For the head? Yes. Or for the horse that was walking around. No, the real horse had they used it. It was real. That's what I'm saying. Know. Is that they they like and and they I say that swear. his screams were actually like him realizing that. It I don't. Know. I feel like that would be a problem using a real horse head. It was very unsanitary. Yeah, you know, I mean, it was uh, seventy. Jessica, did they use a real horse head? Seventy. <laughs> now Coppola did have a cow killed in Apocalypse Now, but that he just was like filming like a ceremony where they uh, sacrifice oh. a cow. Oh, so. uh, okay. Really well, I mean, so I'm not saying I'm not denying that he killed an animal in his movie. I just don't think the horse. Well, I don't know it. if it was if they actually killed the horse or if it was just a horse that died and then they just used the yeah, head. Like you know what I mean? I mean, do you think there's a ghost in Three Men and the Baby? Do you believe that rumor? What ghost? Do you believe the Munchkin? <laughs> do you believe the Munchkin hanging himself in Wizard of Oz? You never heard those rumors? Uh, yeah, those I think that true. one's true. No, it's not. Uh, yes, that is, it is. not. No, true. Way, I've seen not. the clip. No, you've seen an edited clip. Run that clip. It's a big, no, you watch the movie in HD, it's a big emu spreading its wings. But when you watch it on shitty VHS, it looks like something else. All right, okay. See, I don't know. Fair. I don't have the technology. Anyway, I don't me. think it's a real horse head, but yeah, he cuts off that. Okay. Now, they never really go in the book and the movie, they never go into detail how it happened. I think the book implies that he might have paid off the security at the place. But it's like, did Tom Hagen kill the horse no. and cut its head yeah, off? No. And then how did he get it? up there into the bed to freak out the guy he probably had guys with him that you know drove him there flew with him there and then they they snuck in and i feel like it'd be really know. hard to sneak in a the horse head into a guy who's sleeping and him not notice like it. i said the guy was drinking all day yeah, they you know? were he was together, pretty drunk right? you know pissed you know, out like slipped, slipped it in i mean getting the blood all over him was one thing but yeah i mean just to put the, oh, that the means he was tossing and turning like, oh, kicking, like, oh god oh, yeah. oh. Thought it was the hottest. Johnny gets ever. the part. Ew. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good job, Johnny. Good for Johnny. And then we Johnny never boy. hear from Johnny again. <laughs> um, but just want to let you guys know he does get that Oscar. Good for him. <laughs> and Waltz uh, in, in the book, like Waltz, like tries everything in his power to not get him the Oscar, and it doesn't oh, work. <laughs> um, so yeah, the Don has to meet with this guy Salozo or Salazzo, uh, and he wants to run heroin in New York. He's got a whole operation set up and he needs the Don's mm -hmm. political influence and security to help run the operation. Um, let me see. Uh, Sonny and Tom, they're encouraging Vito to go with this. They're like, drugs is the future. You got to get in on this. Yep. Because Sonny they shouldn't deal, open his mouth. Yeah, they deal in gambling. Never tell anybody outside of the family. Well, well, what that, you that's, think. that's coming up. This is before the meeting. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, the like Don down. deals with like gambling. Uh, I think he allows prostitution, but he's not totally into prostitution. Right. Uh, and a legitimate olive oil business. When Honestly, this is incredible because you think when you think about it, like you're watching a movie about the mafia and they do horrible things. But when it comes to drugs, it's like, no, it's like, no. no, we can kill all of these people <laughs> and we can have horrible murders. But drugs, but drugs. Oh, no, well, we're not well, getting involved. The reason is like the Don probably would have allowed drugs. The thing is like his political 
allies were against it. Right. And he like knew if he got into that business, they would not back him up mm-hmm. on a lot of yeah, stuff. Probably. So that's no, his absolutely. reason. But it's like, yeah. it's, it's interesting. And he yeah. explains it very clearly to Salazzo. It's like, <laughs> if I do this, it puts my operation in, I'm not going to get in your way. Mm-hmm. But you're right. Sonny fucking opens his goddamn mouth, that dumb idiot. God damn it, Sonny. That's Stunad. That's a word. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> My dad called me that many times growing up. <laughs> like, what are you, Stunad? I'm like, oh, what? <laughs> so, uh, he because he's like, we can guarantee you. And Sonny's like, you can guarantee us? And like, Vito's just like, he's shut the fuck it. up. But that's also a sign that, you know, he shouldn't be, he shouldn't be the next Don. No. Yes. Um, yeah. Again, he really should not be a Don. It wasn't calm. Uh, but yeah, he tells him, he's like, never, ever tell anyone what you're thinking. King, who's not part of the family, you dumb idiot. <laughs> I, love that. I love that part. So, uh, Vito has a plan. He wants Luca Brasi to spy on Salazzo. I think he's gonna like, I think he's just like, yeah, pretend like you want to defect and just get information from them. Yeah. Uh, and he's gonna pretend to be interested in the Tatalia family. Sí, bravo. Wow, hey. Thank you. Thank Italia. you. Uh, apparently, they speak horrible Italian in the well, scene when Luca meets them. So, it's like a mix. Of Italian, American, Sicilian dialect. Really? Um, it's interesting, and, and this isn't the only scene. Like, also when Michael meets with um, the other people. I don't remember who it was. Yep, in the restaurant. When in he the kills restaurant. Yeah. Yeah. So it's interesting because I was thinking, like, throughout this movie, because listening to it, it's not standard Italian. They use dialect, which is obvious because they're Sicilian. Mm. Um, but the thing is that I asked myself is, were they doing this on purpose or was it because the actors actually didn't know how to speak Italian? Well, in well, Michael's case, yes. Yeah, because Al, Pacino Al Pacino's doesn't case. speak Italian. Well, that's yeah. the thing, but I, I'm pretty sure that they did this on purpose because in that time in the 40s, right, all of the immigrants were coming over to America mm. so and up. they were mostly from the South, so they already just spoke the dialect. Yeah. They came over and these people that here are, you know, first, second generation Italian Americans. They're not actually from the motherland, right? They're not from Sicily. Mm. So they are just taking the dialect that they grew up with from their parents mixed with the English, which becomes that Italian American dialect, which then yeah. becomes this messed up kind of Italian yeah, American it's like, Sicilian it's like, dialect. It's like my dad. He's got this weird South Philly, mm. South Italian, like, like he's, the way he talks is just so bizarre. Right, exactly. Because he's from Italy. Is your dad from Italy, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yep. It's funny. Yeah, they come over and they just like yeah, yeah. they say things like really weird. Exactly. He like, speaks my English speaks. and Italian. And yeah, it's, but it's, it's like all messed up because yeah, like my dad also like he learned obviously Italian, like standard Italian, because my grandparents wanted him to speak standard Italian because yeah. it's saying like okay, like you're from Italy, but if you speak a southern dialect, it just doesn't make you seem as intelligent as you could be. So for him, like it was important to speak standard Italian. But he also does still speak, you know, the dialect from his hometown. So kind of, it's like a mix of everything yeah. together. Yeah, sister, that's so like my smart. dad. Which is like a, a really yeah. That's what I do, guys. So. Yeah. <laughs> I'm writing my thesis on Italian American dialect. So you guys, we you have tell. any tips or anything? <laughs> <laughs> so apparently, yeah. So by the way, I love the foreshadowing they do here with. Uh, the restaurant they're in, you see like the fish stuff on the wall, and I'm like, mm-hmm. that's pretty funny. Like they, they mm-hmm. show like a bunch oh, of fish. I'm like, ah, that's clever. That. <laughs> have you? I'm assuming you, this uh, is going to uh, be a no from you. Okay. Have you ever played the Godfather game? Yes, for, I have actually. I swear to God. <laughs> for PlayStation Two? Like, yes, we really had it. Did we have it? I don't know. No, it was with it, it was, was me. With, it was with someone in high school. I used to play it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> whatever that guy's name was. Whatever that guy's name. So was. the Godfather game. Yes. By the way, my character that I created actually looks like Frank, which is pretty funny. What? So you play a character who's uh-huh. kind of like in the background of all these scenes, and I think there's a part in the game where he's like spying through a window and he's watching the mm. scene play out. All right. Dude, the Godfather game is great. It. it was basically was Grand Theft Auto, but yeah. set in the Godfather, the Godfather universe. Godfather. Yeah. Oh, I love that. I love how you were like, you probably never played it. Like, I love that game. <laughs> it's a good game. It was Who'd a good game. I never played the second one. But yeah, it's you can build your own like Italian, like your whole mafia empire. You yeah. can buy mm-hmm. buildings. It's actually a really solid game. Yeah, I go play cool. that. Actually, yeah, that, that would be a good game to like remaster with modern graphics yeah. and shit. Holy oh, shit. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Um, so yeah, they. Uh, this is like a trap. They have no intention of yep. talking to Luca Brasi. They just want to no. kill him. Yeah. And they fucking murder him violently. <laughs> and I don't, like, we could just, dis- now us as the viewer, knowing what death is like, we just assume 
that Luca Brasi sphincter loosened and he shit himself. But the author, Mario Puzo, wanted us to know oh, that. No. So he read the book. He's like, and by the way, Luca Brasi sphincter loosened. I'm like, no. I'm like, huh? you don't have to tell us every fucking that, detail of a death, you <laughs> idiot. Is that necessary? Oh, God. Apparently. Was he ever was interviewed necessary. and asked that question? <laughs> You think you think Coppola when he's writing the script, he's like, should I do a close up on this? <laughs> <laughs> There's one shot I need. <laughs> <laughs> so they kidnap Tom Hagen, yep. uh, and they uh, they try to kill Vito. They shoot him. They shoot him like a bunch of times in front of actually. the oranges. In front of the oranges, and Fredo. That fucking idiot can't pull his gun out in time. He like drops his gun. So there's like this thing with the oranges, right? Which yeah. is why I wore my orange. Well, I would think <laughs> whatever. Like, what's what's the oranges? Well, it's because like whenever you see an orange in the film, means someone's yeah. gonna die or something. I can only think of two scenes where that happens. I don't there's know. actually three because in the wedding scene, somebody grabs an orange and throws it up to themselves. Yeah, but no one dies in that scene. Exactly. That's why I'm saying she's wrong. What I think it is is more of a. Um, uh, you know, building your garden and he's building his, he was in the middle of still building his garden for his family. Like, you know, like, mm. uh, you know, his, his fruits of, Oh my God, know. that's so interesting. So yeah. he's, so he's still in the middle of, you know, building what he's still creating to leave his family. Uh, because yeah. at the end, well. it says okay. something yeah. else. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I can only think of two Tony's scenes. Like, yeah, duh. Fuck it. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we have the famous <laughs> Papa. Papa! He gets shot a lot of times. Sorry. Which was parodied in Analyze This with Robert De Niro. Where really? Ro was it Robert De Niro was the Fredo character, I think. Mm. Which is funny because Robert De Niro plays young Vito in the second movie. Um, that, yeah, this scene's been parodied. I think me and my friend Anthony parodied it a long time ago <laughs> in some stupid short we did. We did like the Papa! Goddamn Fredo, man. <laughs> a dumb Freaking idiot Fredo. God, dude. He got shot like... A whole bunch of times in the back. I mean, to, to still survive that, I mean, yeah. I think they might have done a little overkill, but yeah. I mean. <laughs> there was bad shots. Yeah. They're shooting everything. <laughs> um, yeah, so Mike and his girlfriend leave the theater, uh, and she sees the newspaper, and she's like, oh, God damn it, your dad is shot. Oh, He's God. like, oh, God. Yeah. That was like a day later, right? He just didn't, he was just wasn't home or talked yeah, to anyone yet. Home because it was well, yeah, Mike, Mike so keeps to himself, home. and he doesn't really right. interact with yeah. the family yeah. too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he just probably wasn't by a phone. He also didn't anything. buy that newspaper, and he threw it all over the street. He did. Yeah. He didn't I, even I, throw, yeah. he didn't even throw a couple know. dollars Making down Italian like Italian Americans look like assholes. Say it again. And God forbid we have Italian Americans looking like assholes. I would never do that on this show. Nope. Uh... So yeah, uh, Salozzo tells Tom like, hey, Sonny was into my deal. And also he thinks Vito's dead at this point. Yep. Uh, yeah. And he's basically like, I killed Vito because I knew Sonny would go for my deal. Try to convince him to like go along with it. And I love what he finds out. It's like, he's alive. We shot him six times and he's fucking alive. <laughs> yeah, I thought bolt. he was dead. I he's, he's like gone. Michael Myers. He just keeps getting back <laughs> exactly. up. This is your kind of movie, Tony. <laughs> oh, uh, and everyone returns to the compound. Abe Vigoda is Tessio. Mm. Abe Vigoda, this is 50 years ago. You know, you know who Abe and Vigoda? Abe Vigoda looked old back then. He didn't know. die oh, until yeah. like a few years ago. I know. You know who else Abe oh, Vigoda is? Yeah, no. The guy from Good Burger? No. Oh. The guy from Mask of the Phantasm. Oh, which one is he? His name is, as I have it right <laughs> in here in my mind. Trisha, what's Mask of the Phantasm? I have no idea. It's the animated Batman movie based on anim S Batman the Animated Series. Oh. I just remembered. Nice. You just remembered? Salvatore Valestra. He's the guy with, with the, the gas uh, man. With okay, the gas I watched it the other night. Time. I didn't realize that was him. Oh, He's also in Good Burger. Is he really? He yeah. is. He's yeah. one of the cooks, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So uh, it was yeah. actually a really funny site up until a few years back. Um, there was a website that would let you know if Abe Pagoda oh, was still alive. Yeah. No. And when you go to it, it's a picture of him smiling, and it'd be like, Abe Pagoda is still it's alive. So <laughs> and then the day he died, everyone went to the website, no. and it's like, Abe Pagoda's dead, and they just took the same picture and put, like, cartoon X's on his oh, I miss Aww. you, Salvatore Valestra. <laughs> Salvatore Valestra. Uh, but yeah, uh, Abe Pagoda. He's so old. He's the best. Uh, he brings in a package, and it's a fish wrapped up in Luca's bulletproof vest. Drops her right in the light. What does that mean? He swims with the fishes. Luca I mean, Brasi. sleeps with the fishes. Why do Italians say fishes? Okay, fishes is when there's different fascist? types of fish. A fi when you just say the, he sleeps with a fish, it means that that's just one type of fish. There could be a lot, but it's just one type. When you say fishes, 
there's a lot of different types of fish. I don't like, know if that's proper. I English. swear to God, calamari, pl- eh, bacala. Calamari is eh. not a fish. Yes, it is. That's a that's an octopus. It's that's a, a squid. Fish. It's, it's a type of fish. fish, right? Because I'm thinking of the. That's seven not fishes. a fish. The feast of the seven fishes. It's Italian an American. Is <laughs> it's an Italian American tradition, right? It's actually not even an Italian tradition. Italian tradition is just to eat fish, different no. fishes. I'm just saying. I was always told the plural of fish. It's fish. Fishes. So I always got confused fishes. by the fishes Depends. part. Fish is, the fishes. fish is plural, mm. but depends on how many different types of fish. Fishes. I guess if you just want to say it in an Italian-American way, like the guy's your, Does your family do the seven fishes? My family never did. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we do. My dad doesn't do it. Yeah, we do it. But we, we do like, we, we don't do. do seven. We just do like Is that lot. like specific <laughs> to like a region? Or? It's more like Southern Italian. Oh, my dad is Southern so, yeah, Italian. Like, we just Abbey, never did it. the seven fishes. Uh, you're coming to our house this year. Yeah. Yeah, come over. Vigilia di Natale. I never got that weird horn thing. Oh, I don't have mine. You? Oh, I got these for him in Italy. Yeah, see? Yeah, the the horn thing. Like, I remember seeing other Italians with that. I'm like, what the fuck is that? Yeah. It's, it's good luck. This is what happens when my dad it's immigrates horn, at 12 years it's old. I think he didn't really learn all the proper stuff. It's a pepper, not a horn. It gets Whatever, it looks like a horn. <laughs> there is something with a horn, right? No, sempre pepperoni. Oh, just a pepper that looks like a horn. Okay. All right. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so he sleeps with the fish. Wait, I have to tell you a story. Okay. <laughs> okay, so like this story is funny. I don't know if you remember this. But my first boyfriend in high school, right, mm-hmm. he comes over to my house. And in the backyard, we used to have a koi pond. Okay. So he was like over there. And my dad's like, hey, come over here. Let's, uh, let's look at the fish. Right? So he like goes over. They're like staring at the fish. They're just staring. They're just like staring like this. My dad's like. Like quiet for like five minutes, just staring at these damn fish. And he turns to my boyfriend. He goes, "You ever hear, uh, you ever hear about sleeping with the fishes?" <laughs> my dad's a good jokester. <laughs> <laughs> On top of that, my <laughs> sister tells a good story about my dad being a jokester. <laughs> and you're not with that guy anymore. <laughs> no, he is. Where's um, he at? He's buried in the old backyard. <laughs> <laughs> He's sleeping. Is he sleeping with the fishes? I don't know if he'll ever watch. Don't this. linger actually, on. You're like sliding off camera. Get back in here. Well, I did it because I, uh, I said that. I need to. St- I need to leave. He's actually married with a man now. So anyway, let's. See. <laughs> Is, her name's Amanda. Amanda. No. Yeah. <laughs> Good job, Trish. Let's continue. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> Was, were, you, were you his first girlfriend? No. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. I was going to say, that would probably be... Yeah, no. If you were the one where the no. guy just went, nah. <laughs> I was like second or third. But okay, okay. Yeah. Anyway. No, he had girlfriends <laughs> after me too, so it wasn't me. Uh, they killed Polly. Yeah, forget that guy. Who was there? Yeah. So there's Polly, who was the security guy who mm-hmm. took off sick. Yep. And he's clearly sick. Like, he comes in, he's like, Whoa. he's like, uh, can I help you guys? And they're like, oh, uh, you know, know what? He probably faked it. So they can whack him. I'm sure he is he sick. sick though? Yeah, I don't think he's you know, sick. You know the I don't know. He's looking pretty sick. You know the first time you see Paulie in the movie? When? At the wedding. He's the guy that when they're throwing money in the bag, he turns around and goes, oh, what's in there? 20000 30000 Oh, my God. If this was somebody else's wedding, uh... he's that guy. So it hints towards the fact that he's, you know, a little bit shady he's and he's sick. turning on the family. <laughs> So you're you're anti Polly. Um I way anti Polly. I'm oh, pretty oh, sure yeah. it was him. But Polly leads Polly. to uh Polly leads Polly to one of the biggest uh ad libs in the film. Uh what's his face? Um Clemenza shoots him in the back of the or Clemenza takes a piss while someone else shoots him. Yep. Uh That's and then he does times. the famous line. Leave the gun. Take the cannoli. Oh, we have cannoli! <laughs> Who'd have thought? Who'd have thought? Oh. Who'd have thought? We brought the cannoli. <laughs> the cannoli is here today. We left the gun wow. and we took the cannoli. Yeah, but also, cannoli. I just want to tell you guys that cannoli is plural for the word cannolo. So if you're just going to eat one of these lovely little pastries, it's cannolo. Oh, what the fuck? Where were you during plural. Mummy Cop? I named the main mob boss Lisa Cannoli. Should her name have been Lisa Canolo? If she's just one, it's Canolo. Oh, oh, God damn it! Well, that's a whole family's worth, so it's Canoli. I guess it's a whole family, they're the cannolis, okay? <laughs> this movie's all about family, so... Canolo is a very, very um, Sicilian pastry. Mm-hmm. How do you feel about the, the mafia in Mummy Cop? Were they, were they offensive? No, I love Mummy Cop. Everyone should check it out, actually. What's I really, Mummy I Cop? I missed that show. Oh, yeah. you jerk. 
I'll have to go check it out. Today. Lisa Cannoli is a great character. <laughs> she would fit well into this yeah. universe. I should have been in that show, but I wasn't invited. So that so that so, line. We least... didn't reconnect at that point, and then I got too broke to do a season <laughs> three. I'm sorry. Oh, we should do season three. Let's do it. It was a little too late now. <laughs> so that line was was improvised through um, through the actor. Yeah. Uh, with uh, his wife, mm-hmm. uh, the last line that she says is, you know, before they leave the house, is make sure you grab the cannolis. <laughs> and, uh, so when they were, you know, on set, and he says, you know, grab the gun, he, you know, also added in that last line, which turned into one of the biggest, you know, most quoted phrases in That's movie so history, <laughs> so, <laughs> which is fantastic. Yeah. Um, so Michael can't say I love you on the phone to Keg. This was like already a hint. Like, if you can't say I love you, okay, to your girlfriend in front of your family, just leave her. First was, of all, she's a man. He was waiting for the apple of his eyes. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, he's afraid to say it. I like what Clemenza making fun of him. He's like, why don't you say you are loving that girl? Oh, yeah, because uh, he says it like Adisa. It doesn't go in episode. No, he does this. That's Come on, man. He does what my dad does with the, the hand motion. <laughs> why don't you say I love you? Oh my God, I love yeah. you. I'm a lover you so much. I'm a kisser you when I see you. <laughs> uh, I know. It's like sad though because his whole family's there and he's just like, yeah, okay. And she's like, I love you, but I can't say it. Wow, okay. because he doesn't want to say it. I know, you know. but it's Plus, not true you know, love. Uh, Maybe but he yes, fully love he does yeah. have dinner with her and he leaves her behind because he doesn't want her to get involved yeah. in the yeah. shit that he's about to get involved with. That's it. Uh, he goes to the hospital and he realizes his dad is just completely unattended. And the nurse is like, yeah, your dad had too many visitors. The police uh, took all the guards away. He's like, what the He's fuck? like, my dad, do you know who he is? <laughs> You're going to leave him alone like this? The doors were wide open. Like, anyone could just walk yeah. in. So they uh, they move him to another room. And I love that he thinks an assassin's coming, but it's the chef from earlier in the movie. <laughs> this, this whole scene yeah. is so. This it, scene is so. This scene is super tense. Yeah, it but is. it's such a it's such a game changer. Yeah, like, this is this is it, man. This is the moment. Of, yeah. you know, of, of Michael really, you know, showing who he is. I mean, it's the first time you really see him alone and how he reacts to all this and and what his next move needs to be. Yeah, so. I love when he's just like, he knows the hitmen are coming and he tells like the chef, he's like, all right, put your jacket in, so pop good. your collar and look like a tough guy. And the so chef's good. like, I love he takes the chef's roses yeah. and throws them. He's like, yeah. all right, look like You're a tough guy. Get rid of and these. the dude looks so <laughs> terrified. He's like, yes. The poor guy. He says, he says, he just tough, came to visit. Like, he says put your hand in your jacket and make it look like you got a gun. Yeah. And the guys come rolling up and he starts pooping himself a little bit. <laughs> and then, uh, and then it's, I mean, just that, that whole interaction of, of Michael uh, also realizing in himself that mm. uh, that he's more built for this than than anyone else. Well, I mean, else. he is a he, he was a war hero. He, was a he war is hero. a killer. Yeah, he yeah, knows yeah. how to do tactical but, stuff. But he's a marine. Him, but for him to realize that you know, like his that this guy's hands are shaking, but his aren't, mm. and he's like, okay, like maybe this is too much of me, and I'm already in so deep that you know yeah. I can do this. Yeah. Uh, then he runs up to his father, and they mm. have that whole scene uh, to where he says the words, "I'm with you." Yes. But it's not just I'm with you, like hey, I'm here taking care of you. It's this. But I'm it. with you in this. I'm in this. I'm in, Aww. baby. We meet the Irish captain um, McCluskey, not McClunky. Do you know what McClunky is? Do I want to know? So before George Lucas <laughs> sold Star Wars, and we're going to talk about George Lucas in a little bit. Oh, good. He did one. He did another round of changes to the Star Wars trilogy, further ruining them. You know how they the, the Greedo shooting first scene mm-hmm. got ruined because yep. they made they made Greedo shoot first and Han digitally dodging. Yep. Now Greedo for no reason goes McClunky. McClunky. And no one knows why. No one can figure out why he says that. Why <laughs> it was added in. Like they're like, what the? I don't think I know that. Why? Why do they keep changing the scene? Why do they add a weird nonsense word? Anyway, McCluskey, <laughs> not to be confused with McClunky. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, he also hates Italians. Uh, yeah. And he breaks Mike's jaw. Yeah, he said that G word again. Yeah. yeah. Uh, very, very offensive. That's like the worst word when it comes to stare at, like slurs. I think the G word is the worst word. I mean, yeah. Could you not? To- oh, sorry. Censor that. God damn it. <laughs> I said it too. Um, it's an Italian word. When you uh, ask someone how their day go, I don't think that it's like that bad. <laughs> I mean, most days can go good. And most that days didn't can work. Go bad. Like, that didn't work. Like, yeah, that <laughs> would be how their day is going. Sure. Uh, anyway, uh, the Corleone. Oh, Tom Hagen shows up. He's like, I am here uh, with uh, private uh, security and you will have to get uh, whatever uh, you need to leave. And they're oh, like, boys. okay. 
Uh, but they the Corleone cal- compound is just like heavily guarded. Like there's cars blocking the driver. There's people with shotguns everywhere. So he, uh, I mean, with it, with him, with him punching him like that, uh, mm. hitting Michael. I mean, what you can kind of see there through it is. Uh, now Michael's cheek is blown up, right? Yeah. So we just had that scene that he was, you know, telling Vito that, you know, his father that I'm with you. So now his cheeks are starting to mimic yeah. how his cheeks are. Oh By God. the way, I have a thing to mention because we were confused about the timeline in this movie yeah. with that bruise and I'll, I'll get back to that. Oh, okay, yeah. good. Um, yes, so uh, Mike comes up. Oh, Sonny's having like the other families attacked. Like they're finally going to war. Yeah. It's yeah. like the first war in 10 years. Yells I think. at Tom because he's not a wartime content yet. Yeah, yeah. So Mike comes up with a plan to meet uh, Salazzo and the captain uh, and take them out. But they need to plan a gun ahead of time. So they're trying to figure out where he's going to be. And it turns out the police, st- their guy in their police station always has to know where the captain is. So they figure out the restaurant ahead of time. Uh, is that from the book or is that... Yeah. Do we, right? Yeah, that's all in the book. Yeah, yeah. But I'm saying we didn't see that in the movie yeah, how they found it. No, no, no. Out, we right? see it in the movie. Yeah, he like gets we? off the phone. He's like, yeah. yeah, our guy says he's gonna be here at this uh, time. Yeah. Yeah. Um they all think he's out of his mind. They're like, this is a terrible idea. Dad mm-hmm. doesn't want you involved in this. You Man. shouldn't be doing this. Yeah. Uh and he's like, Nope, I'm gonna do it. Uh so yeah, Clemenza, uh what you call it, he tells Mike that once he kills him, he's gonna need to leave for a few years. Yeah. And well, the started, rest of the family goes to war. They all started laughing imagine. at him first. He was like, Well, yeah. I'm gonna sit I'm gonna, you know, hide the gun and then I'm gonna grab it and I'm gonna kill them both. And then they all start laughing. They're like, ha, 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 yeah, yeah, Michael, like, yeah, okay. he's gonna be the sure one. They also it. give him like a lot of like details. They're like, okay, you know, don't look at anyone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, make sure to slide the gun down. Yeah. Come out of the bathroom right away, start shooting, he yeah. doesn't do any of that. So shit. then the, and then the uh the bigger guy, I forget what his name is in it, but then he he turns around and he goes, "All right, so you shoot them both. Now what do you do?" And then uh, he Michael sit, Michael looks at him and he goes, "Well, then I sit down and I finish my dinner." Sit down, finish my dinner. Come on, kid, don't fool around. <laughs> yeah, Clemenza, Clemenza, it, Clemenza so didn't enjoy that like, joke. <laughs> um, so yeah, this whole scene is really tense with it him in the car. He's being frisky. He doesn't yeah. have a gun on him, but at one point they get off the bridge to New Jersey, and it's like, oh. Fuck! Right. Like the plan is going south, but it turns out yep. it's to get yeah, it's to get rid of anyone who might be tailing them. Yeah, it's so good because if anyone was dumb enough to follow them, they'd be the ones. Um, so yeah, they talk in Italian. It's not subtitled. Mm-hmm. Were you able to? Yeah, how does that I did. So actually, what Tatalia says is what happened between me and your father is between us. Yeah. I am a man of honor, and like he's just like you know, I want to do right. Um. But again, the Italian is horrible. <laughs> like, but the thing is, is, it's actually like a mix in this case, which makes me think it's it, the accent is kind of like Napoletano, Siciliano. Like it's it's like a mix of all of these accents. So you get a little bit confused, but I get what they're trying to do. Well, then, then at one point you even have Michael that turns around and goes, you know, F this Italian. Well, yeah, yeah. I'm just like, going to talk to you in English. Uh, I, don't, I don't even care. Well, I will <laughs> so, say, I will say, which I love. in the book, Michael's not the best at Italian. Yeah. Um, well, yeah. Uh, he like he knows a little bit and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like there's a whole thing where he's in Sicily. He has to read Italian. He's yeah. not very good at reading right. Italian. Well, we see that also when he gets to Sicily too. Yes. And again, that's like the whole. Thing. Well, that was more of just Al Pacino couldn't. But in the book, also Michael has trouble. But with that's Italian. what I'm saying. Like I yeah. feel like not only because I, I feel like they pick the characters according mm. to their ability in Italian because yeah. you don't want them to seem like they're too good in Italian because yeah. that's not how the people actually were back then. Especially since Mike is the one who's supposed to be like. Super Americano, exactly, military, yeah, and whatnot. Right, exactly. So they did uh, it on purpose. But it reminds me of like when he's like, oh, like, fuck this shit. Like, I don't want to speak in Italian anymore because I just can't do it. Too hard. <laughs> when I get really mad at my boyfriend who's Sicilian, and like, we're speaking in Italian, I'm just like, fuck this. I'm going to speak in English because you're making me so mad. <laughs> so Mike goes and gets the gun. Uh, it's got the tape on it that'll hide yeah. the fingerprints. Yeah. He comes out and he sits down. He's supposed to come out and start shooting, yeah. but he comes out and sits down. I mean, it also shows the calmness of Michael and how he's, you know, wants yeah. to sit in his eyes and look, look right in his enemy's eyes. And he's, and he's not know. listening to anything anyone's saying. And I yeah, love I that, love. like, the train is going by screeching and yeah. it's like just building that tension right mm-hmm. up. So he gets out. He, he kills Salazzo. Yeah. Shoots him twice the way he's supposed to. He fucks up with uh, McCluskey. Shoots he shoots right him in the throat. neck. Oh. I remember seeing that as a kid, uh, and I'm like, oh, that Jesus. Shit. Like, I had seen, like, a bunch of murder and stuff, but I'd never seen someone, like, shot through also, the neck. Then, and he going, shoots, oh, then he shoots far. him in the head, too, and then he yeah. still gargles ah, for about sorry. five <laughs> seconds before he hits the ground. <laughs> Where it's like, I mean, I've never seen anybody shot in the throat and then the head, but I would think that <laughs> oh, after the head, oh, you're dead. 
When we watched it, I burst out laughing because when he falls, the table just like flips over. <laughs> I was like hiding. But it flips eye. over so comically, like the like what yeah. the it reminded me um I did that uh Roadhouse fan film. And we uh, put a girl's head through the table, like she gets head slammed in the table. But the table was a pizza box yeah. on like a pole. So like when she hit it, it just flopped up like comically. And that reminded me of that. And, like this oh, table, he has head Jesus. to this table and the whole thing just flies. That's so funny. Uh, he doesn't let the gun slide down. He no, drops he it. Drops. And it's like, ah, you weren't supposed to do that, you idiot. Yeah. Carries it, drops it, runs Ugh. out the door. Does that give make it a difference? A, give it a beat, and then you get that I think that it was loud... supposed to brush off something. I don't know. But Oh, is that why? Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Sure. It was um, it was to make sure no one knew he left. Like, they would have found the gun eventually. Right, but not to It would have confused the people in there, like, if they didn't see him drop mm -hmm. the gun. Uh, But, yeah, he oh, just okay. he just drops it. it. So, like, yeah. uh, so... Uh, this whole scene, the montage with the newspapers and whatnot, this was edited by George Lucas. All the the optical really? effects with the newspaper. Huh. Yeah, because... Uh, it's, it's the only time in the film that the word mob is said. Mo like a I think mobster. so, yeah. Mobster. Yeah, mobster. It's the only yeah. time in the film that that's uh, they, they use the word gangster a couple times. But, gangster, um, mobster, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, what you call it? Uh, Coppola helped finance Lucas's film. I don't know if it was American Graffiti or THX 1133. Uh, remember, these guys all went to school together, yeah, like Spielberg, yeah, yeah, Coppola, Lucas, uh, Scorsese, and whatnot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hell of a class. Yes. Um, <laughs> so yeah, Lucas edited this scene for him. I think he's uncredited as the editor, but he did this whole montage. Nice. Uh, Vito returns home, and everyone's happy. Yay. Uh, they have him on the stretcher, bringing him up the stairs, and I got a flashback <laughs> to when my grandfather died. Uh, they put him on the stretcher. And like my my all all the women, my mom, my sister, my grandmother, they're like crying. Me and my dad are like watching. And I swear to God, they almost dropped my grandfather. <laughs> like they literally, like I saw the girl in the stretcher like Jeez. trip and like it switched. And I'm like, oh please, like, don't you God. trip. You I'm like, please for the love of God, Jesus. don't have my grandfather spill out on the please. I'm like, oh God, <laughs> no one will ever be able to go to this house again if he falls into the like almost onto the walkway. I was like, oh Jesus right. Christ. Me and my dad got like real tense. And yeah, it's like, right. okay, okay. They got him Thank in the God. end. We're good, we're Saved good. It. That's good. Um, Jeez. So yeah, uh, <laughs> we start to notice that Connie's husband kind of mean to I her. I hate this guy uh, so much. Yeah, Carl. What's the matter with you, Carl? Shut up and sit the table. He's not happy because he's not involved in the family business. But like the thing is, you know what? You're married to the mobster's daughter. Like the Godfather's you daughter. You would think that he you would, would know. You would, well, you would think he would treat her right. Like you I said, know, I wasn't going to do this, but now I'm coming up with in out. the book. In uh, <laughs> she actually goes to her father and mother mm -hmm. about this. Yeah. And uh, the Don's a very old school Italian. He's like, well, you know, you got to be a husband. proper wife. And yeah. what are you doing that's making him beat you? Yeah. yeah and it's like, oh, you know, he's you got to practice your womanly duties so he doesn't beat you. And she does a whole thing where he's like. Well, you never beat mom, and he just like goes, "Oh, she never gave me a reason." And apparently, the mom goes, "Yeah." <laughs> the mom's bragging, like I've never gotten beaten by the dog. Oh my god, this oh, is like good. PTSD. great parents. <laughs> <sighs> Fantastic. So yeah, also the Italian there's there's a part mentality. cut out of the end where the Don has some opinions on people of color. Uh, <laughs> they left that part out. On to the next one. Good. But that's what gives Carlo the uh, the confidence to yeah, be Connie because keep, keep on doing it's it. like yeah. it, like the Don literally says in the book it's like well he's your you're his now yeah and I'm like well that and that was like that's his crazy. The, the, the the females were obviously treated differently than the males especially you know back then especially in Sicilian and it's yeah. southern yeah what wait, 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 wait. unfortunately first off first I mean, off. Fuck you. Why are the daughters always the dad's <laughs> favorites? Why are the daughters always the dad's favorites until they get married? And then they're just like, like growing up, like my sister was my dad's favorite. Yeah. And you see a lot of Italian families like, oh, yeah. my daughter's great. And then they get married. They're like, yeah. ah, whatever. It's that guy's problem. Now I'm like, why yeah. the 180? What happened here? My dad doesn't like me either because of her. Yeah, but yeah. once I get married, which I don't know if that'll ever happen. What do you? What do you got? What, what? I do. I don't. I don't. That I don't means you're the favorite forever. <laughs> I don't get why the dads are like, like, oh, my daughter is the greatest thing in the world. It's like, what the hell? No, they're not. It's true. Yeah. Daughters. Wow. My best. dad would believe everything my sister said, and she blatantly lied about me multiple times yeah. while I was getting beat in a corner. <laughs> Call me. <laughs> Oh you God. ever watch that show, uh, F is for Family? No. no. It's an animated show on Netflix. I only watched the first oh, season. Oh, I've heard of it. But uh, the daughter breaks the TV set, and the dad like gets all the kids together. 
And he's like, all right, which one of you sons of bitches did it? And the daughter's like, it wasn't me, dad. He's like, oh, of course it wasn't, honey. You can go. <laughs> <laughs> he takes all the anger out on the sons. I feel like that was us. <laughs> yeah, that was us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, my yeah. sister would straight up lie. And my dad yeah. would be like, Tony, why did you don't like, I didn't do anything. She would smack the shit out of me. And then the second that I turned around and even just hit her a little bit because she bruised really yeah. easily, yeah. even just a little bit. Then I would get beat. You would get in so much. Trouble. Yeah, it's like, yeah. why did you hit your sister? Yeah, why did you hit your she sister? Was yep. Pulling my hair. Yep. And yep. <laughs> exactly. There's one time I, my dad went to take his shoe off. I run all the way up the stairs, and my room was like towards the top of the stairs. Where when I get to the top, I turn around, I see a dress shoe come flying at my face. <laughs> I shut the door. I hear it hit the door. I open it back up, and it's sitting in the door. I look at him, and he goes, "You better get in your room." And I was like, <gasps> okay. It's my dad sorry. didn't really. I love hit you, dad. <laughs> My dad didn't really hit us. He just yelled at us a lot. Oh, that's funny. Which, I, as I got older, I'm like, yeah. dude, can you just like, you want to just punch me? I'm tired of hearing you. Yell. <laughs> like, it got to that point. Was it just I'm like, once and I walk. I'm out. like, honestly, I'd rather you just hit <laughs> me to be honest. Anyway, oh, that's funny. Uh, <laughs> where did this go? <laughs> Vito is filled in on what's been happening. Uh, Fredo is shipped to Vegas. He's Get gonna learn here. the casino business yeah. with Mo Green. What does that work out? Uh, uh, Tom and Sonny are disagreeing on how the war is going and Connie's husband is being a real asshole. Like, he's like, shut up, Connie. And Sonny's like, hey, shut the fuck up. And then the mom, opposite and then of the me and my brother-in-law where I'm just like, yeah, Don, she really needs to shut up. Jesus Christ. Well, Nicole. the mom at the table there <laughs> turns turns to Sonny and says, you know, stay out of it. Because, <laughs> I mean, that kind of hints yeah. towards it all. Yeah. 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 No. yeah. I love um, how Sonny sticks up for her, though, honestly. That would be like you. Like, Oh, yeah. <laughs> Any boyfriend you've ever had. Uh, so anyway. then we see uh, we see Michael and Sicily. Uh, he's working with a Don. Sicily, yeah. Uh, in Sicily now, and uh, apparently in Sicily, women are more dangerous than shotguns. Now, our Sicilian correspondent, are women more dangerous? How many people are killed by women versus how many people are killed by shotguns in Sicily? <laughs> God, look it up. Do the math. More than Now, do women kill men with shotguns? Because that'll screw up the statistics. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yes, it's more of just a broken heart thing over there. Also, what is the name of that shotgun? The the book goes into like a lot of detail about the shotguns in Sicily. And I also want to know if this is real. Sicilian correspondent. Mussolini had all the stone walls knocked down in Sicily to be no bigger than three feet in height. So the Sicilians couldn't hide behind them Get out of for town. cover During fire. Get out of town. Huh? Really? During, the, During war. the war, yeah. Oh yeah, Mussolini went hard after. I mean, I I believe that. There's, there's a whole thing true, where like Mike went in the book when Mike's in Sicily, okay. he's realizing like how the mafia started. He's like, wow, the elected officials and government fucking suck here. He's like, no yeah. wonder my dad turned to crime. Like these guys suck, especially when <laughs> Mussolini's involved. Yeah. And it's like, man, it must have been even worse a few years ago. Yeah, exactly. yeah they don't really get into any of that. But yeah, apparently, That's according to the novel, he had all the stone walls knocked down to no more than three feet, so you couldn't get enough cover if you were firing. I wonder if that's true. You know what's interesting, actually, going off of like what Mussolini did in Italy yeah. during the war. Um, he actually like any word that used an English word in Italian was changed to a specific like Italian word. So, for example, if you were playing soccer, you couldn't uh, use the word goal anymore because that was used as like an English word. Mm, right. So you, they actually changed the word goal to meta. So instead of like when you're like. You're like, oh, you, you get it. a goal in, in culture, in soccer, and you're like, Meta! Like, it doesn't make sense. Like, people don't use it anymore. Now, now, do, like, you, do you disagree but... with Mussolini in that situation? Yeah, of course. Okay. I also disagree with Mussolini. We I all disagree, disagree as well. with Mussolini. Ma. Okay. I disagree as well. Um, you know, just by coincidence, there's a lot of people in Argentina with my last name. I don't know why, but I disagree with Mussolini. <laughs> hmm. uh, actually, speaking of Mussolini, didn't think he'd come up so much. <laughs> yeah, what is talked happening? about in uh, <laughs> Return of the Exorcist and Cool Jaws mm -hmm. uh, about how Italian movies, they always ADR everything. Mm -hmm. And I found out uh, Eli Roth went on Joe Bob's show and he talked about how it was to stop like um, during like Mussolini's reign. Everything had to be ADR and someone from the government had to be in the ADR sessions to make sure you weren't doing any anti like com yeah. like fascist really? mm -hmm. propaganda. Yep. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they made sure. But like. 
for some reason after the war that just stuck and they just That's interesting <laughs> that it was still there yeah yeah they just <laughs> kept doing the ADR separately instead of it because they wanted they were like you know anything that gets recorded we need yeah. to be in the room we need to hear I'm what you're saying well, all of the films that were filmed in, in the time that that time yeah. period in Italy were all reviewed first by yeah. the fascist regime like you yeah. couldn't make a movie without it being reviewed in fact there's just, a movie hmm. um uh, Dio, what's it called? Oh my god, I can't remember. I think it was like Antoniani. I don't remember the the director, but it, it he like made references to like the fascist government being horrible, and they made him take it out. But yeah. some of it still stuck. But it's oh just god, I can't remember the name of that movie. It's so weird how like they kept doing the ADR thing when they yeah. didn't have to. It's like wow, I guess they just got used to it. <laughs> That's less people you got to pay on set. I guess. I guess you just do. Oh god, I, I'm doing. There it you now. go. <laughs> um, so too much wine. Mike Mike gets hit by the thunderbolts. Yeah. Where it's when you see a beautiful Sicilian woman and yes, sir. by beautiful Sicilian woman, Florida. I mean a woman who looks bored out of her mind and just miserable. No, she's, no, beautiful. she's a beautiful woman. Come on. I no, she's beautiful, but she, every time you see her, she's like, well, she's got that little bit of an attitude to it. Oh, yeah, because she's Sicilian. She's yeah. like, fuck you up. She's got that little bit of an attitude to where, yeah. you know, she's wearing the pants. Like, who the, who the hell are you, huh? huh? But this leads, this, leads, <laughs> yeah, exactly. this leads to the funniest scene. There hasn't been a lot of comedy lately in this movie since the wedding. And this is like the funniest <laughs> yeah. goddamn scene where uh, Fabrizio, not our, for, not our Fabrizio, oh. because, uh, right, because our me. Fabrizio died because of Jack. <laughs> This Fabrizio lives. This Fabrizio didn't learn all the good, the, the good morals and became an evil Fabrizio later in the film. I feel, wait, hold on. I think that Fabrizio is a time traveler and he was there in Sicily <laughs> and he got shipped back to the ship, haha, pun intended, to the Titanic <laughs> so that he can die because this guy was really pissed off at him. No, that's not how it happened. Maybe he just survives the Titanic. No, he he got no, crushed by the smoke stack. <laughs> he's, he's, he's dead. No, Sorry. I'm pretty sure Fabrizio's <laughs> <Never> dead. <laughs> I mean, it'd be really oh, impressive man. if he survived, but I think yeah. they make a point to let you know he's fucking yeah. crushed. That's how anyway, he, that's how his day went. So I love this scene where they're talking to like uh, the guy who runs like that deli or that shop or whatever, yeah. and they're like, "Oh, this guy, he got hit by the thunderbolt." There's this beautiful girl, and the guy's like, "Tell me about he's this like, beautiful oh, girl." Tell me all about it. She's got like oh, a little like she's an like this, this, and she's like that. <laughs> and then like, you see the shop owner's like, nope, oh. that girl doesn't exist. There's no girl uh, like that here. And then what's he like, say when he goes inside and starts screaming? Yo, yeah, what does he say when he's like, look at like that. All these stupid idiots. By the way, I love that he You goes, tell my daughter to get home right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I love that, like, it was either Fabrizio or the other guy realized, like, oh shit, that's his daughter. <laughs> but then yeah, Mike smooths it over. Calm again. And Calm he's like, again. look, uh, you know, why don't, uh, why don't I marry her? Yeah, this cover. Now we were confused about the timeline because his face is bruised. Marries her a week later, right? So no. what I learned was um, they don't spell it out, but uh, in the book, because he had to leave so soon, he never got his jaw properly fixed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So while he's in Sicily, this could be like months later. Six his, to eight weeks. They yeah. meant they mentioned that like his jaw is still fucked up in Sicily because he never the bones healed wrong, and that's yeah. why it's all like fucked up. Yeah. So this could be way later. But why does he still have a bruise, though? Like, I can understand it's fucked up, but I don't think he would have a bruise still. I don't know. Yeah. I but, I mean, so. it explains within, why like, his face you know, is so I mean, messy. I would think, like, within yeah, the within, month. Like, like a, a month months. or two, like, forgets about K. Well, but which, cool, it's a month. So a month. Also, I think he, he does love. <laughs> 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 I mean, what I'm saying, I'm make? saying when he meets this girl, I mean, like, I, I would think the day got, yeah, they got married within, a, like, a week or two. Like, he was like, you know what? Like, you know, hey, I love I love that their date is supervised. Yeah. Uh, his date with Apollonia. Yeah. Apollonia. 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 Uh, yeah, just super the apple like, all the old women are following them everywhere. <laughs> and then the man with guns. <laughs> and then the man yeah, with guns. Yes. <laughs> That's what my dad used to do. You know, whenever some guy would come over. <laughs> so, uh, Sonny is boning the bridesmaid again. Again, trying to make Andy Garcia and he has, for Godfather. And he has group. all of his men lined all the way up the steps just in case. Oh, yeah. He brought yeah. 20 men with him just in case. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, if you read the book, they live there. Oh, he really? buys all the vacant things to put his guys there. Uh, so he's boning her, and he finds out that, uh, what's, what's his name, Carlo beat up Connie. Yeah. And unlike his dad, he is very against that. So he, he like, runs out and beats the shit out of uh, Carlo oh, in front yeah. of everyone. Yeah. In a scene Great that was parodied scene. in The Simpsons, the Simpsons, Marge. There's a scene where Marge beats someone up, and it's frame for frame. <laughs> the scene of, like, him, apparently yeah. the But wait. Yeah. Did The Simpsons predict that? Oh, no, no, The oh, Simpsons came afterwards. Oh, I think Fat Tony is inspired by <laughs> wait, this. Wait, I saw an episode where he's like, my cousin, Fatso Antonio. <laughs> 
I think in later seasons, uh, Fat Tony died. Oh, and then no. there was Fit Tony. And then at the end, there's like this whole montage of how Fit Tony got fat and it just became Fat Tony again. <laughs> So it's like Snowball too. They just like it's like it's a different character, but it's basically the same All character. Right. Fit Tony though. That's good. Um, by the way, the audio book on Audible. I gotta check who the guy reading it is, but it sounds like Fat Tony no from way. The Simpsons. Oh yeah. God, wait, 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 the Godfather. Absolutely. Yeah, the guy who reads the Godfather book on Audible. And I'm like, is this Fat Tony from the? It sounds like Fat Tony <laughs> from The it? Simpsons. Check that out. <laughs> so you're not reading it. You're listening to it. Yes. Oh, nice. Yes. Okay. Very nice. Every day, my wife goes, "Where's the money? When are you getting the money?" from Fat, 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 Tony. Fat Tony. Yes. Anyway, <laughs> um, this scene's great. Apparently, I think the trash can was improv. Oh, really? He just the trash just can. It out. A lot of it was. So, uh, and, then, and then hitting, uh, you, when he's when he's hitting him up against the wall, he's like six inches from his face, which I really like. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, maybe that's a force punch. Oh, force punch. Yeah, we got into the, the force kicks last time. Yeah. It's not a fucking force kick, you at... So return to the Jedi. <laughs> Mark Hamill go. goes to kick there a guy. This is where we were going, and now we're going yeah. here. We go. Mark Hamill goes to kick a guy, and its foot is like a his his foot is a foot a away from the inches. guy. And I'm like, they're, they're like, oh, and they left that in the movie because people were criticizing some of the fights of Dark Knight Rises, stuntmen mm -hmm. falling over. I'm like, right. well, Return of the Jedi has that stupid kick, and everyone in the comments like, oh, that was a force kick. Yeah. So he used the force on his foot so what to did kick we learn? the guy. Italian Americans can use the force, and it's like, no. That was just a fucking mistake that oh. they left in. <laughs> We're clunky. Anyway, uh, he says, if you ever hit my sister again, look, I'll fucking look, you kill you. Uh, the fuck you. I don't what like that. That, that was weird. <laughs> that was weird, and I don't like that. I don't I don't like that. No, that's I me, me and my sister Sorry. don't have that kind of... Uh, we, we're, we wouldn't be on the same wavelength. <laughs> Somebody put the wine down. <laughs> Speaking of wine. Oh, Are yes. Oh, just uh, let me tell you something. Anymore? If my brother-in-law ever beat my sister, which probably had to come, my sister a lot to do. <laughs> I literally, when my brother-in-law said, "Hey, I'm proposing to your sister," my first text back to him was like, "Are you sure this is a good Are idea? Sure? <laughs> like, did you really think about it? Like, like, Are you sure you want to do this? I've known my sister for a long time. Yeah, I like, sure like, like I mean, I, I don't know if you like. I really tried to convince him. Like, I don't think this is the best idea. There's a lot of other girls out there." <laughs> Got a lot of other options, man. There's a lot of fish in the sea. There's a lot of fishes in <laughs> the sea. A lot of fishes in the sea. <laughs> so Michael forgets all about Kay. Uh, and I mean, Apollonia is basically his rebound. Because no. he wants to be with no. Kay. No, Apollonia is his love. It's nah. love of his life. Kay is the one that's, you know, could be, a, you know, a wife, have have children with, you know, keep him straight. Apollonia is the love of his life that he that he really sees himself with. Mm. That's Kay why he, he, is the comfort in America because yeah. that's where his family is and she I guess keeps so. him straight. Apollonia yeah. is like the one that makes him lose his freaking mind. Yeah. Nah, well, you got hit with the thunderbolt. Oh, got hit with the thunderbolt. Sicilian correspondent, is the thunderbolt real? Is that a Sicilian thing? Do women... Uh, you're not Sicilian. I'll tell you. I know, but I'm the love of his life. <laughs> uh, this is Sicilian. Don't appropriate. This it was Sicilian. real when I met my fiance. <laughs> I love. You, I don't man. know what this thunderbolt is, but I <laughs> haven't been hit by it. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I have. You know, there was a few months in uh 2008 Wait, where I, I had a I had a black it. cloud around me. Why? Huh? I was dating Johanna. Uh, <laughs> I didn't get hit by a thunderbolt, but I had a miserable cloud. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm sorry, Johanna. I don't know how you deal with this guy. I'm so glad we got our fiance in an episode because I think it's I, I think it's squashed the are they getting back together rumors. <laughs> um, so yes, uh, Kay actually goes to the compound to give them a letter, and Tom is just Does that like the I, same day, same day as a wedding. I guess so. <laughs> but Tom's like, I can't accept this letter. If I do, it means I know where he is. In the book, the mom accepts the letter. She's like, Tom, shut the fuck up. Let oh. me get that letter. <laughs> but she also, they, they actually cut a lot of the mom out. The mom in the book, she's just like, yeah. hey, Kay, you're really nice. Find another guy. <laughs> like, really? You should probably find I mean, another honestly, guy. Yeah. Well, I mean, then he brought her inside the call. He was like, she was like, can I at least call Michael? And then he brings her inside and then it cuts out. Right? Yeah, because I guess they didn't yeah. film the rest of the scene. I guess they couldn't. Um, they so, yeah, uh, he marries Apollonia. Uh, and I think it's because he wants to bone her. That's literally the only reason. <laughs> she's like, you know, she's a virgin, obviously. Like, she wants to keep her, whatever it's called. Yeah. Apple owner, want a boner. Okay. <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> hey, man. She's a beautiful girl. But that's how it was, though. Like, you couldn't do anything unless you were married. Like, if you're, like, a good yeah, virtue. It's still that way. With values. Right, you're going to lose your virginity one day. One day? Next yeah. year. So, yeah. Oh, man. Yep, that's how it is. 
Do you want me to film it so you can remember it forever? I'm not what? married. <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? I'm sorry. All right, I need on more the wine for this. <laughs> just I am a we virgin. Ran out of mine. By the way, I'm a virgin. Born for again. Born yeah. again virgin. Marriage. Um, I'm very celibate now. Um, yeah, so uh, let me see here. Everyone's throwing rice. Yeah, so the um, it's an Italian tradition. Like, especially, yeah. I love this scene of the Sicilian wedding, yeah. which hopefully I'll get married in Sicily <laughs> into the Sicilian correspondent. Anyway, um, so. <laughs> wow, well, well, or, or what is Dr. That? Harley Quinn, depending on how things go. <laughs> <laughs> Harley Dr. Harley Quinn's eyes just lit up and he's like, <laughs> yeah. oh, boy. He's like, oh, wow. um, no, but I love this Sicilian wedding scene because they have like all the traditions, right? So mm. you in Italy, when you are getting married in the church, actually, I don't know if they show this, but if you're getting married in the church, you kneel in front of the altar, like the man and the wife mm -hmm. are, are there next to each other and like mm. this nice little pillow with like lace and it's just beautiful. And then when you come out, all of the people have these cones of rice and they just throw them on top of you and you just have rice like all over you. And it's That's bad for the birds. <laughs> they start it's plucking at your hair after that. <laughs> it's bad for the birds. That's why they don't throw rice it's in you. It's a good luck thing, right? Rice in you. It's good luck. It's good luck. Yeah. 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 yeah, people are like, it's bad for the birds. Like, what, the pigeons? There's like a billion of them. Relax. <laughs> you You're going to feed them all. There's no shortage of fucking pigeons no, around here. <laughs> not. <laughs> exactly. Vafangul. I'm just going to sing the. Vafangul. <laughs> no, Vafangul. She's like, Vafangul. Me, Vafangul. You. It's Vafangul. Vafangulo or Vafangul? Vafangulo. Bafangula. So Kieran likes to appropriate our word, but he says a bafangul. A bafangul. Like and that. he sells a shirt right now. You know the old Nintendo game, uh, Ghouls and Ghosts? Yeah. He sells a shirt right now that's the logo, but it says Bafangulo and Ghosts. Like, <laughs> like, like a bah humbug? Yeah. <laughs> <That's great. laughs> Instead of saying F you, Kieran it's does a it all the time humbug. on his streams. He's like, that's a Bafangul for me. I'm like, Kieran, stop it. <laughs> what did the Italian ghost say to the other Italian ghost? I don't know. Vafangul. Oh. Cool. Anyway, uh, Connie's yeah. husband beats the shit out of her uh, because they, she gets a call from someone. It's like, I'm going to see Carlo tonight, or I can't see Carlo tonight. Yeah. She's like, oh, you son of a bitch. Call in the house. Uh, call in the house. Girlfriends, what call in the house. What an asshole. There's a reason. <laughs> <laughs> There's a reason for this, by the way. Uh, this will this will This will make sense later. Uh, but he beats like the shit out of her. Yeah, oh really, yeah, it's actually sad because she's pregnant too. Like, yes, and now so Jessica, is this meant to happen by someone else telling him to do yes. it later? In the uh, Jessica, this scene is uh, really kind of graphic and disturbing. So when you play clips from it, please add cartoon sound effects and comic bubbles. Anyway, <laughs> play that right now. <laughs> It's an important scene we should show people, but I don't want them to be too disturbed. Uh, yeah. So add the cartoon sound effects like bum, bum, bum. Wow, and, and just the, like Saturday cartoons. And like the, the 60s Batman, you do the comic bubble. <laughs> the anime, anime. God, we're gonna be on a list anime. after this. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, we're screwed. It's the worst My dreams of becoming an actor have just all been shot within this past hour. So Sonny is upset with his sister having the shit kicked out of her. Uh, and he goes off to kill his brother-in-law and he gets stopped at the toll booth. And then get shot a billion times. A billion <laughs> they times. shoot him. He did the whole. Duh, 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 and then turned around and then. Duh, 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 duh. Yeah, he like gets out of the car and he's like, oh. <laughs> And then they shoot him more and kick him in the face so he'll be unrecognizable at the we at the funeral. Yeah. Yup, yeah, Vito was not happy about all that. Yes, yes. Um, what a hell of a kill. So uh, Vito is sad, Sonny's dead, as he would be. And I think this is like the first time he's gotten out of bed in months. Yeah. Yep. And he's like, oh, Tom, what's up? Right. It's like, your son's know, dead. He's, he's like, like, oh, Jesus shit. Jesus Christ, I'm going back to yep. bed. First time, <laughs> asked, asked him why he was having a drink, and then he was like, well, tell me what everybody else knows. No. Sat down there and told him. Why do you sound like the godfather when he <laughs> talks? He sits down and he tells him. <laughs> yeah. Like, where are your cotton balls? So, why don't you uh, go ahead and tell you, Don, what everybody else knows? So the Don brings Vito, uh, brings Sonny to the Undertaker, and yes. The what? Photoshop the Undertaker's face onto the mortician. <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, and we get the famous scene like, look how they massacre my boy. <laughs> my massacre or butcher. I forget. One of those. Mm. Look how they massacre. Uh, look and Jerry did Seinfeld did this yeah, yeah. scene in a, an episode of oh, Seinfeld. Yeah, he's like, look how they massacre my boy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but this is the favor that he called on him for. Yep. Uh, 
Yeah, yes. that's the favors that make his uh, make Sonny look look very nice. So that his mom doesn't see him like that. Yeah, um, hell of a favor. You know he got lucky on that one. Yeah, the ba- that was the lucky. baker had to stand out front and act like he had a gun in his pocket before he, you know, so he didn't get shot at. And then the uh, mortician just had to do his job really fucking well. Michael gets word that his brother is dead. Uh, and the next day, uh, he wants to like get out of there, but Apollonia is waiting for him in the car. I love this scene. I mean, I mean, no, 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 not that <laughs> whoa, scene. No. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> But I like, I like that he's just like, "Where's my wife?" And the one guy's like, "Oh, she's in the car because she like, she he's been teaching her how to drive, That's and I mean. teaching her English." They Monday, set it up Tuesday, and knock Wednesday, it right Wednesday, down. Yeah, just Friday, like Thursday, she, Sunday, like, Saturday. Yeah. The week. Like, it's so cute. I'm like, oh, I love you. She wasn't gonna make it in America either way. Yeah. They were like, so he goes to the all. car and he sees Fabrizio wandering away. He's like looking back. And he's like, Fabrizio, where are you going? Uh-oh, Apollonia dies. That's so sad. Fabrizio. Yes, it's very tragic. Just like Fredo. Yeah, but not not the the hero Fabrizio from Titanic would have never done this. No, he wouldn't. Have. Definitely <laughs> sure. not. He would have saved you sure? Maybe if he's he, the one that's the, you know, like, Fabrizio, was steering the boat Go back and watch the, right. the Titanic episode. I have a whole theory with Fabrizio. If he had lived, he would have stopped World War II. Really? Yeah. <laughs> We do get it. I had a whole thing where, like, he would have went there and he would have been like, hey, there's a guy in Mussolini. He helped the no good. (laughs) I also, in the Titanic episode, I make sure Billy Zane is like the hero of the film. (laughs) Horrible. You know the little girl that he has at the end of Titanic? Yeah. I'm just mm. like, yeah. You, I don't know if you know that, but that little girl was Ruth Bader Ginsburg, and Billy oh. Zane was trying to save her. <laughs> anyway. It's a good episode. You should check it Technically, out. Technically, he is the hero. <laughs> he is the Jack's hero. Jack's a dick. No, he's not. Yeah, Jack is awful. Jack's anyway, a dick. Thank what? you. Where Bro- were you in he that He broke review? up a marriage. Anyway. But she wasn't in love with him, and she wanted the love of her life, just like Michael right. wanted Apollonia. Hey, it's the 50th anniversary of wow. The Godfather, not Titanic. You're just standing up for Rose because she's another girl from Philadelphia. Uh, anyway. Is she from Philadelphia? Yeah, she's from Philadelphia. I didn't know anyway, that. anyway, anyway. She was my first crush. Yeah, Philly. Uh, Vito meets with the families. He doesn't want any acts of vengeance. He's like, all right, this has gone too this far. Is it? We're running out of money. Everyone's killing each other. This is this has got to stop. I want my son to come home. Yeah. Uh, and he meets with them. Of course, one of them is Barzini, the exorcist, mm-hmm. the other exorcist. The other one. Uh, he tells him, he's like, hey, look, I'm still concerned about the drugs. Uh, please don't sell them to kids or anything. Yep. Uh, the yeah. cops are probably not going to work with us on this. Just a heads up and. Barzini is just like, hey, you know, you never share these politicians with us. We want to use them for a fee. After all, we're not communists. <laughs> um, I like that part. Um, exactly. So, yeah, so they, they finally make peace. <clears throat> but Vito, he kind of figures out. He's like, all right, yep. Barzini was behind everything. Yep. Mm-hmm. It was all just a setup just to figure out, you know, to get everyone face to face and understand you yeah. know, what was really happening. He's like, I didn't know until today that it was Barzini, but yep. it's probably Barzini. Yep. Um, that's why, that's why he, all these rats, man, all these rats. I know. And backstab. They make it seem like Italians are unreliable. Yeah. We're like Vito and Michael. I mean, we're not (laughs) like any of those guys. I don't know about you. Uh, so Michael, Michael meets up with Kay and he's like, I've been back a year. She's like, well, thanks. Thanks for fucking telling me. (laughs) Back a year. So now we're jumping a year. A year. Jumping a year. <laughs> jumping a year ahead. Oh, but there's I mean, a lot of... It jumps a lot through There's like film. a lot of yeah, time yeah, yeah, jumps yeah. from yeah, this yeah, point yeah. on. And he's like, I need you. So yeah. like him saying, I need you, isn't like, you know, I love you. Because so, no. Apollonia, I loved you. Back to what we were saying yeah. earlier. Mm. He's more of a, I need you by my side to make me look straight, to, you know, to... Sorry. Bless you. Salute, grazie. Scusate. <laughs> anyway. A salute. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, well, he's she now keeps the, his head like sand. Yeah, yeah. and he's now yeah. in the family, family business, yeah. Yeah. which upsets her. But she's gonna go through with it, I guess. Yeah, she gets right in the car. Yeah, oh, yeah. he is now. The head. <laughs> he's yeah. like, hey, no, hey, you know, I killed a bunch of people, and she goes, I yeah. know, I don't think I could do it. And then he opens a car door. She goes, all right, I'll get it. <laughs> <laughs> so he uh, is now head of the family, and he plans to move everyone to Nevada, where Fredo is. Yeah. Um, for some reason, Carlo is now involved in the family. Yeah. Heading to Vegas. Uh, I don't think they know he's hitting Connie yet. They probably do. At they this probably. Point. They're probably just. They like probably that. know, but like, my question is, when do they start understanding that you know he's a rat for for the other family? That's a good question. I don't know at when. What, at what I point? didn't get to that part in the book yet. I'm yeah. almost on it. Yeah. Wait, so is that I don't... still in the first movie? Well, because yeah. when Sonny is killed, 
Carl has a part of it. So now, yeah. if it's a year oh, in advance yeah, yeah. of that, so how long have they known that they're still living with Carl and they don't want... Uh, Carlo. Uh, Carlo. Well, they call him Carl, too. Yeah, well, so he's, he's, he's more American. <laughs> but, you know, to, uh, they don't want to have um, uh, Talia's uh, kids be orphans and this mm. and the other, so I guess they give them a little bit of time and yeah. then they're like, okay, well. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's right. I don't know why I forgot that. Yeah. So Tom is demoted and Vito becomes consigliere. Consigliere. Say it. Say it for the people. Consigliere. Consigliere. <laughs> Whatever. Consigliere. He's the wartime consigliere. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, and Fredo is a total douchebag in Vegas. He's got the nice suit. He's, he's a little uh, thinner horrible. with the glasses. He invites Michael and he's got all the girls. He's like, hey! <laughs> and Michael's hey, like, Michael's like, get all these fucking bras out of here. It's such a great scene where Michael <laughs> walks so in and he goes, Okay, who's the get girls? Oh, what are you there for? Yeah, get him, get him the fuck. <laughs> Actually, I had a lot of respect for Michael there. It was nice. Mm. Right, because <laughs> I will say, I love that this movie uses the word broad so much. <laughs> like, we got to bring that back. Not yeah. enough people are saying broads. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Mike wants to take over Mo Green's casino business, uh, and he wants to make him an offer he can't yeah. refuse. You don't buy me out, I buy you out. I'm yeah. Mo Green. It's and like, he wants okay. uh, Johnny Fontaine's there, and he's like, hey, Johnny, I want you to perform here and get all your Hollywood friends to yeah. perform here. But yeah, Mo Green is like, what the fuck? No. Not and then happening. apparently like Mike knows that he beats Fredo in front of people. And then Fredo is like, oh, Mo didn't mean anything by <laughs> it. He said he beat him because he was banging two cocktail wages at the same time while they were supposed to be working. Mm. So then he went back there and beat him. So a mob boss's son. So a uh, little, little in the book here. Um, ah. You know, the, the the bridesmaid that is no longer in this movie. So mm. in the book, she uh, goes to Vegas mm. uh, and she hooks up with a doctor. And th there's a whole chapter on how the doctor, th the whole thing is she loves Sonny because Sonny was the only guy who could get her to climax. And the doctor's like, oh, well, the bones in your pelvic reason are all fucked up. I've seen this before. It's routine, sir. So there's a whole chapter on vaginal reconstruction. <laughs> But in that chapter, we realize, because he's a disgraced doctor, he was an abortionist, so that's why he's in Vegas. Huh. He tells her that, like, by the way, Fredo is the bareback king. He's got, like, every ST, you know, because he's just going, he's huh. raw dogging, like, this all these good. girls oh in God, Vegas. This is good stuff. <laughs> he's like, he's Continue. like, I have, he's like, he's the like, Vito. I wonder why this wasn't in the movie. I don't know. I'm he's like, like, Fredo, he's gotten, like, Who 15 knows? girls pregnant. He gets an Mom? STD, like, every other week. Fredo? Yeah. Oh, my boy Fredo. And this whole chapter Holy is uh, to describe to explain how they fix Johnny Fontaine's singing voice. Because like after he fixes wait, her wait, crying, because of vaginal. Um, um, yeah, Johnny Fontaine goes to visit her, and then he's like, "What's up with your voice?" And he realizes there's a ward on his thing. So there's a whole chapter about that that's just what? cut out of the movie. Thank God, because I'm like, what is the point of this chapter? I'm like, oh. The point of this chapter is just to fix Johnny Fontaine's singing voice. I don't think we needed all that shit. Oh. Frank Sinatra, man. Jesus. But now Christ. we know that <laughs> Fredo is just uh, getting a little too frisky in Vegas. Wow. <laughs> okay, Fredo. Uh, but yes. He, he deserves to get beat then. He sides with Mo Green and Al Pacino. Or Mike is just like, don't you ever take sides with someone else ever again. Don't ever take sides with somebody outside of the family. Uh, by the I way, he, uh, Mo is on Barzini's side. Um, yeah. Yeah, Vito tells Mike, hey, Barzini is going to one day get someone that you trust completely to set up a meeting. Mm -hmm. And at this meeting, you're going to be assassinated. But it. they don't know who it is. I love it. And you're waiting. You're, you're like, like right, waiting to figure out who the hell it's going to be. Because because what? This is, uh, yeah, this is the point where, yeah, his dad tells him, you know, whoever comes to you first and tells you. And then yeah. you're like, whoever comes to you uh, proposing yeah. this meeting will be the traitor. I and love, at that meeting, you will die. That's I great. love that scene oh, because right, it's yeah. also like, you know, yeah. the last time that, that Michael's talking to his dad. And, it's a and, really good scene. And reviewing, them. reviewing, you know, business, but also, you know, happy about family. They're talking mm. about his kid a little bit. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Michael has, a, that's Which the thing. We were getting confused by the time jumps because suddenly yeah. Michael has like a, like a two year old kid. Yeah, we're like, and we're like, wait, yeah. can we get like a little awesome. date at the bottom yeah. to let us know where we are? <laughs> uh, but yes, uh, Vito's playing with his grandson, Anthony. Yeah. And he's running around the like, orange. Like the, the, yeah, like the orange garden. Yeah. He's right? running around his full garden now. Full yes. Garden. So it's now cool. it's a full garden. I did, I did get to that part in the book where Vito is planning on retiring and he just wants to focus on his garden. Yeah. yeah he's yeah. like, I just want to build a nice garden. So, yeah. So he has this nice, beautiful ah. garden. Yeah. He's chasing his grandson and then he just fucking <laughs> kills over. 
That's really sad. Yeah, he's still well. The grandson's watering. Oh the, yeah, the grandson sprays the, uh, him because he doesn't the get garden. what's going oh on. My but he's, God, but he's also so... watering the garden to where the next, yeah. you know, the, yeah, part, the next generation, yeah, the next generation the next coming up is go. starting. But to also work he on. thinks, <gasps> his, yeah, that's so good. also he thinks yeah. his grandfather's playing because before he put yeah. the orange peel to pretend to be a monster, yeah. <laughs> which also shows. Vito being a monster, blatant, blatant, yeah. you know, as blatant. day. So and much symbolism. God, shows, I love it. I love movies Shows him symbolism. being a monster with it. with his garden. He's being a monster. No. But Frank, this is I what just want to let you know created. you're a great addition to the channel. You got all these Thanks, good man. insights and I film. try to I try to you know know my facts and you know give the people what they yeah. want. You don't just talk about yourself. It's all your own <laughs> opinions. Anyway, the Volpe kid. <laughs> Kids. What are we five? Well. <laughs> <laughs> the Volpe kid. <laughs> All right. Coming to a town so, near you. Uh, at the funeral. <laughs> the matter with you? At the funeral for Vito. <laughs> so uh, at the funeral, it's revealed Sorry. that Tessio, a pagoda, is oh. the traitor. Yeah. He goes up to him and he's like, hey, uh, you should probably meet with Barzini. He's got a good deal. We can yeah. figure this out. And he's like, uh oh. I love that. Uh -oh. Because Michael Michael just like he doesn't even look him in the eyes. He's looking, you know, towards his father, towards the casket while he's saying it. No. And he goes, Yeah. Yeah, okay. And, no. then and then he walks away. He walks back towards, you know, uh towards the other mob boss to set it all up. And Tom and him are standing there and, and are sitting there and Michael goes to Tom, he goes, Yeah, Tessio set up the deal. And then and then whatever uh, whatever Tom says, but he, the way he reacts is like a oh did he? <laughs> yeah, they, they both they, know. They're and just it's like, like ah, ah, yep. this is I it. Love it. That's interesting. Uh, so at the baptism, clip, clip. Michael has the heads of the family murdered. Oh, by the way, I want to get back the, the the meeting for the peace meeting. He's like, I just want my son Michael to come back. He's like, by the way, I'm a superstitious man. If a cop shoots him. Or if this happens, I'll blame everyone. And then he's like, if a bolt of lightning strikes, I'm like, I don't know, Vito. I think I don't think. I don't think the mob can control a bolt of lightning. I don't know. <laughs> a bolt of lightning already did hit him with a bolt of already hit him. That's why I was like, how's that wordplay like match him when they say that with yeah. a bolt yeah. of lightning? Because they had to have said it for some kind of reason. Exactly, yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's at, at the but baptism like, oh, for Connie's really second or third kid, I think now. Yeah, something like uh, that. Mike is the godfather and uh, he's Pat getting baptized. Do you renounce Satan? <laughs> But like, actually, in the beginning of the movie, they say how important the Godfather is in the life yes. of the kids, mm -hmm. which is actually really true, obviously, in yeah. Italian culture. Yeah. Shout out Uncle Fausto. He's my Godfather. <laughs> shout out to Jimmy. I mean, you've been dead for 15 years, but uh, shout out to you yeah. anyway. Hey, Jimmy. <laughs> um, my Godfather was awesome. Oh. Took me to so many cool movies. Anyway, oh. um, one awesome. of the assassins is Joe Spinell. And I did not realize it was Joe Spinell until we re, re uh, we re, we re what that wine that wine, that wine started. <laughs> it's, it's good. Wine. I did not realize it was Joe Spinell until we re watched it the other day. Uh, Joe Spinell is one of my favorite uh, Italian schlocky actors. He's in huh. good movies yeah. like uh, Taxi Driver and stuff, mm -hmm. but he's in the original Maniac. Uh, I don't know if you saw their remake with Elijah Wood. I think you might like the remake with oh. Elijah Wood. It's pretty good. No, He's in the original Maniac. He's in a movie that I thought was a Star Wars ripoff. Because Italy's known for ripping off things. Yeah, they rip off Hollywood a lot. <laughs> El plagiarismos. <laughs> yeah. Plagiarismo. Um, which we are against. Yes. Uh, we don't, we're not with the other Italians. Yes. We're very against plagiarism. Yep. Um, Gambling. Drug dealing and plagiarism. Yeah. Plagiarism. Yes, we're against all of it. <laughs> plagiarism. Uh, <laughs> Goes right up there with the other two. I'm very against prostitution, but I mean, if this dry spell goes on another two months, I might change my Mama thoughts. Mamma mia. Uh, no. So, <laughs> <laughs> where was I going with that? Anyway, Joe Spinell is in a movie called uh, Star Crash. And he's the bad guy in it. And I thought it was a really? ripoff of Star Wars, but yeah. Italy was just making another weird sci-fi movie at the yes, same time. Do. But it literally has lightsabers and shit in it. Like it's cool. a little too close Did to it come Star out Wars. Within the same year? Dang, we yeah, like the that. same year. Like I think Star Crash came out afterwards. Uh -huh. yeah. But yeah, Joe Spinell is the bad guy in it. He's no dressed way. like this evil wizard and stuff. Can we stuff. watch that? Yeah, we, we watch we it. Gotta, no, we should review it. It's, it's got that famous Italian actress in it. Um, beautiful girl, I forget her name. Monica Isn't it crazy how Christopher so Plummer's in it? Christopher He's like Plummer's the emperor. It. And somehow they hey. roped him into that movie. Hey. <laughs> it's the, oh, you know who else is in it? Uh, fucking Baywatch. Uh, 
Hasselhoff. Hasselhoff. Hey. Hasselhoff, hey. Is, Hasselhoff hey. is like the Han Solo. Hey. We should watch Star <laughs> Crash. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. <laughs> so after the baptism, uh, Tessio realizes he's going to get killed. Yeah. And, uh, you know, he kind of accepts it at first. And then uh, he like realizes he tries to like argue with Tom for a little bit. He's like, hey, can you help me out? Can yeah. you help a guy out? Which is, I mean, the whole the whole thing is is great. I mean, he's 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 like, you know, after all these years, you don't think that you can, you know, just do something for me, just help me out a little bit. And oh. Tom just looks at him because, you know, they're so they're all just so upset that it was Tessio. Yeah. So, and then he and then he takes it like a man too, which I guess you know in in you know in the mafia I guess is the way that you're supposed to do it. I don't know. Don't ask me. But <laughs> but he, we don't know anything about the mafia. He goes he goes right over to the car and you know sits in it and he goes, well, this is it. And then you can also see in Tom's eyes a little bit that he's he's upset because he gets into the house and then he also looks out the window and looks at Tessio even roll away and he's like, oh man. Yeah, we don't see him die. Yeah, we don't see him die, which I thought was odd. Yeah. Well, I mean, I would think that. I guess you know you were so close with him. I guess I, don't I know. guess it was it would be too sad. I don't be too sad. Um, uh, Mask of the Phantasm, love. I love, <laughs> I love <you> a lot. <laughs> so then, Michael meets with Carlo, and he realizes Carlo is the one who this set is the up. Best Sony. scene in the entire movie. Tell me why. Because I hate Carlo because he beats his wife and it's messed yeah. up. But then this is all what comes right it. back around is that they know that the. Is that they know that when yeah. when Sonny when where when he beats his wife and Sonny goes over and and finds it all or right yeah so what happened was yeah they planted the phone call I just got thrown for a loop yeah it's okay <laughs> <laughs> it's almost as if you already talked about this no, and then no, the audio no, stopped <laughs> uh, so they planted the phone call to trick uh, Connie yep. yeah. Uh, Sonny, uh, Carlo beat her on purpose, beat knowing purpose. that she would call Sonny, who yep. would then drive right over yep. there. Because how do you get all those guys in the toll booth? You know, where yeah. they well, waiting there exactly. for a week I for this like guy to come. Today's the around. day. He's coming today. Yeah, yeah, I know it. Yeah. I know he's leaving the house today. Yeah. yeah. Um. So they know Carlo set him up. Yeah. Uh, and I do like when he's telling Carlo, he's just like, oh, by the way, Barzini's dead, Tatalia's dead, Mo Green's. And, and it's like, like, oh, yeah, shit, those are all the guys who were in And he's like, me. which one? He's like, which one did it? Huh? He's like, he's like, I'm not going to kill you. What do you think? I would leave my leave my sister, you know, yeah. uh, without a husband, without, you know, would leave her kids orphaned. Mm. What do you think? I'm going to do that to you? Which one did it? And he goes, yeah. He's like, ah, Barzini, thinking that he's yeah. going to save his own life. Like, do you think, do you really think that in that moment that he's thinking that, that, you know, he's going to get away with it, that they're really, they're really going to send him off to Vegas? Because if I was him in that situation, I'd be looking for the nearest door yeah. fucking window to jump yeah. at. <laughs> like, I'm out. <laughs> like, I'm out. Honestly, it's like, I, I would have called them on their bullshit. I'm like, nah, your guys are going to kill me. Yeah. Just, just go ahead. That's just it. go ahead. I'm and, ready. And Come then on. once, once I put him in the car, which... I mean, I guess I think is a little bit weird is that you can either choke them right there in the driveway. So where who's going to see or drive them off to somewhere, choke them. And then, you know, who's going to see. But no, no, they, they choke him to, while they're in the driveway. driveway. <laughs> they just decided to choke him and then start slowly just driving away He's while like Michael's watching. Like yeah, he kicks out the windshield. <laughs> it's like, all right, well, fuck, we should have did this a little bit later somewhere exactly. else. We're going to have to switch cars now. <laughs> Uh, Connie knows. She kind of pieces it together. Uh, She's like, Mike had him killed. I know he did. Connie knows. It's just like... I think, you know, when you're in that situation, though, and... and Have you been in that situation? (laughs) Bye-bye. Let's just say, like, you're gaslighted. So you think that, you know, your husband is or whoever is, like, such a great person because they make you feel like what you did is completely wrong. So... Mm. You know, in in a sense, like it kind of shows the reality of what a lot of women go through when dealing with, you know, this situation. A psycho brother or a wife or a husband that beats you? No, the husband that beats you. No. Yeah, I mean, it's sad. I've never been able to gaslight. I'm real bad. Like, I don't Mm. think I. I asked Johanna, I'm like, you think I'd be good at it? And she's like, nah, you would suck at it. I'm too honest. (laughs) Like, I'm like, uh. Uh, But yeah, so. uh, I'll try. (laughs) One day I'll try. (laughs) So she's like really upset about it, right? Yeah. Because yeah. like he's gone and that's the father of her kids, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, she she definitely knows. So but I, I mean, mean Michael Michael off, trying but... to Michael trying to play it off that, you know, that he didn't really uh he didn't really kill her husband, that he wouldn't kill her husband. I mean, she's part of the family. She already knows. It reminds me of Scarface with yeah. uh, with the same thing when he kills uh, his sister's boyfriend. 
It's literally oh, God, the, Scarface. The same. I got to review that with my uh, friend Royce at some point. Ooh, that's a fun one. Scarface. <laughs> <laughs> I knew, uh, I thought I talked about it before. I knew a guy who was like real into Scarface yeah. and like wanted to be Scarface. Yeah, and like so every single time, like, okay. I was just like, you know how that movie ends, right? <laughs> I don't think you really, I don't think you yeah, took away the real. message of that movie. No. Uh, um, but yeah. So Kay uh, asks Michael. Yeah. She's like, did you kill him? And he's like, this is the one time I'm going to let you ask about my business Which after yelling at her. Yeah, he says it twice. Or no, first first he says it two times that, you know, don't ask me about my business. Don't ask me about yeah. my... But you, it's the first time in the whole entire film that you actually see Michael actually raise his voice for the first time. Because And it's not even through the whole sentence. It's just a little tiny mm. spurt that he has of a don't... Ask me about my business. Yes. And then he calms back down, understands what he's, what he's doing there. Mm. And then, you know, turns to her very calmly and says one time. One time you can ask me about my business. And she goes, did you kill him? And he goes, no. No, I didn't. And then he looks right into the camera and he goes, I, <laughs> yeah, I, I thought that was a weird choice. I didn't expect him to wink and go, I did kill him. <laughs> but and, then, she, and then she looks at the camera and goes, who are you talking to? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> they, they looked right into the barrel of the camera and they said, I think this is our masterpiece. <laughs> I feel like Kay is just like so madly in love with him and just okay with like all the money. She's like, all right, I She's believe like, you. like, I don't even care. No, she knows. She, no, she, she knows. She knows at no, that point knows. because, yeah. and then you, I mean, it also sits on her as she comes walking <laughs> out of the room and it's, it's just, it's such a great shot because then you're you're backtracking with her as she's walking towards the camera and he's getting smaller and smaller and farther and farther away in that room which then creates just a box. Mm -hmm. So then he's in his own little box. She sits there, you know, ready to make him a drink, you know, trying to, you know, help him and be with him. And then you have the three guys come in that are mm. that is his men and you would think that this is his family, but really that's the family. You're here just to make everything What a great good. insight. He's so good. He's so good. He's so good. He's so good. That's he that's a, well, you know, fifty years of this, you know. I mean, <laughs> hey, <laughs> you? <laughs> fifty years of the Godfather. You see it so many times that it's Frank, it all Frank, just makes your, sense. Your insight is so good. Your delivery is so good. I want uh, you to know if I was ever making a movie. Yes. Uh, I don't know. I'll just pull a plot out of my ass. Like I don't know, girls like pillow fighting or something. Yeah. I would cast you in that. You would film. cast me in that. I would cast you in that That'd film. Be some part. great cinematography. I definitely wouldn't turn you down. It would look I would good. Cast you in it that would film. Look It would good. look good. You're good. Look you. good. You're good. You're, You're good. good. Wrong. Movie. You're good. Sorry. Wrong. Movie. Sorry. <laughs> 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 that's that's you. what the show needed. You it needed to you be could, a little you. bit more Italian. That's what everyone's asking. This is gonna be our least watched episode. They're like, this is a little too Guido for me, guy. I'm I'm good. But yeah. Yeah, that, that last shot is... I'm surprised is, Guido isn't a slur. That last <laughs> shot is great because it doesn't even end on Michael, who, you know, this whole story was about. It ends on Diane Keaton's, you know, mm. face kind of just, you know, showing, I guess... She's like, uh-oh, yeah. he kind of became yeah, the thing is, he didn't want to become. Yeah, this is it, showing how the whole entire, yeah, how the, yeah. How the audience viewed it. Yeah, and, it uh, yeah, and of course it was recreated perfectly in Seinfeld. Godfather. Yes. <laughs> Where okay. Kramer becomes the Godfather. I didn't see oh, that. No. <laughs> you love Seinfeld. Uh, yes. Um, great film. It's Fifty good. years later. Yeah. Great yeah. film. I mean, to have you know, I mean, it'd be out for fifty years, and then to do a review on it. I mean, it's 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 hard to do because I mean, there's already been so much said about it. But yes. us three to bring our us insight three. to yes. it. Yes. Woo. Game changer, baby. <laughs> Game changer. And yeah, you know, I it, it had been a while since I watched this yeah. before I rewatched it with you. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, man, I forgot how much I really yeah. like this movie. And yeah. by the end of the day, I will have the 4K Blu-ray. Oh, God damn it. It's got sent to the other house. <laughs> by the <laughs> end of the <laughs> week, I will sit and I will watch the 4K trilogy exactly. of The Godfather. I, I can't wait it. to watch that. I can't wait for them to make the I'll second see. one. I mean, I'm very excited for it. <laughs> well, they did make a second they one. They did. Yes. It's called The Godfather Part 2. No oh. shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, yeah, a lot of people like two more than one. <clears throat> People love to. That's what I've heard. And my dad said the same thing because he's like a huge fan of the movie, but he really likes the second one. Two, pretty good. two is really good because two does the interesting thing. And Coppola said he always wanted to do this where he wants to tell a story about a father and son when they're the same age. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Unlike Back to the Future, which I guess was a movie about a father and son the same age. <laughs> but yeah, it's just like it's so it's like Vito's rise to power and Mike taking over the family. Yeah, you see them kind of like there. I, I hope the 4K, I forgot to look at it. I hope it has that version 
of the the Godfather legacy where it's all in chronological order and it's like broken up in episodes. That's I kind of want to check that out. Yeah, yeah. I'd love I want to see how that, that works. I want to see how they uh, redid the third one recently. How they yeah, revised, I heard they, they trimmed it, right? like five minutes out of it. Five minutes? They move some scenes around yeah. and then... Um, I, I honestly don't think I've ever seen the third one. They don't show Michael die at the end. Well, spoiler, Michael dies at the end. But like in the theatrical <laughs> cut, he like falls out of his chair... In the this Smile. new version, he just puts the sunglasses on, and then it's like it really? ends. So mm -hmm. I don't know. Well, what's the point of watching the third now? Uh, um, yeah, it's over. The third one has <laughs> a great. One of my favorite things in movies is uh, like rubber dummies. And there's a part where Andy Garcia shoots a guy in the head, and like uh, if you frame by frame nice it, it cuts dummy. like a rubber dummy. That's like yeah. oh, <laughs> it yeah. looks really bad. <laughs> nice. nice. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I mean, you, the first and the second one are the ones always played on TV. Yeah. And then once you're done watching the second one, once you spend you know six hours of your life, seven hours of your life watching these two, and then you're like, well, where's the third one? And well, it just the cuts third, to like Guardians. I think of the, the third one might have uh, been hurt a little bit because I don't think it had a book to go off of. There are other Godfather yeah. books, uh -huh. yeah. I think. But I don't think the third one had a book to yeah. specifically go. Like I said, like um, in uh, the book, uh, Julie, the uh, what you call it, the bridesmaid, she doesn't have a kid. So, and then <laughs> oh. turns out in the third one, she's Andy Garcia's mother. Go, yeah. yeah. So I don't know what the book would have been, but um, yeah, I'd say definitely check out The Godfather if you haven't. Honestly, I like this movie, and as I said, I've never actually seen it before. You thought it was full of stuff. It's been parodied well, so many times. You've never seen it before. That's the thing, and I feel like it's just been. Like parodied so many times that the parodies that I've seen or the scenes that I've seen, I'm just like, okay, it's just about Italians and being mm. in the mafia. It's that mm. same old stereotype, like yeah. the Sopranos. But honestly, it it really goes into like family. The, well, family. She's a big Fast and Furious fan. <laughs> 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 no, but it, it it goes into like the story of how hard it was for immigrants coming over to America, and you know, like the poorer people that came over didn't have anything. Like they didn't have jobs. They hardly spoke the language. So what did they do? They made this easy money going into, you know, yeah. this. America. Well, business, apparently the, the whole mafia thing, like I said in the book, it started in like Sicily dealing with the fucking government right. over there because exactly. of how awful the local exactly. governments were. And, and in Sicily, obviously the mafia is, is really big. And in fact, Corleone, the town that this takes mm -hmm. place in, uh, in Sicily and their last name, obviously Corleone, is a small town. It's real. It yeah. exists in Sicily. In the province of Palermo, there's about 11,000 people that live there. Yeah. Um, and hmm. it was actually home to some of the most infamous mafia members in Italy yeah. to this day. Well, they yeah, they also go into detail about like so many people are just leaving Sicily because of how like if because you weren't in the mob, yeah. you so like and you couldn't legitimately make it in Sicily because the government was exactly. like awful yeah. and stuff. So people were just leaving right. like and by the boatloads. Right. Yeah. And, yeah, exactly. And then of course mm. they were poorer people anyway that then just got involved with stuff in it. And yeah, and the stuff. second one goes more into that because you see Vito coming over as a kid uh, going through like customs oh, okay. picking so the name and everything like, yeah. exactly so um, huh. actually it's funny fun fact Corleone fun. is derived from Latin um, mm, which means uh, from coniglione mm -hmm. coniglione actually means big bunny in Italian <laughs> big bunny <laughs> <laughs> it was like Big Benny. I don't know. I well, thought apparently my name means uh, <laughs> Harry. So Harry Peluso. Yeah, Peluso. It's Harry in Italy. In Argentina, it's floppy hat. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. Tony Harry floppy hat. <laughs> yeah. But there's actually, actually, there's an anti-mafia museum in Corleone. It's called the Centro Internazionale di Documentazione sulla Mafia e del Movimento Antimafia. Say that three times. Which first. was <laughs> inaugurated <laughs> in 2000. <laughs> so it's an anti-mafia one? Anti-mafia. Museum, yeah. I don't know. I thought this movie was just about uh, the daily goings on of an aisle olive oil business. I yeah. don't know. That's what it looked like to me. <laughs> Maybe we should start a, ma a maple syrup conglomerate. And people like you that bring the stereotypes to life. So. I don't. What <laughs> what stereotype uh, do I uh, bring uh, to a life? <laughs> don't ask her to watch The Sopranos. No, she honestly, won't do I've that. watched like two episodes and I'm like, I can't deal with this because that is stereotype. People yell at me for now, and I know I have Until the VHS thought. box set of the first two seasons oh, there. Yeah. I just never got around to watch. Watching no. Sopranos, like I wasn't allowed to watch it as a kid because that was like my parents well, let me watch like, whatever, but that was a little but too mature. Good, <laughs> like like HBO stuff, I was like, all right, this is a little, a little too much sex in this. Exactly. Like, the sex is a little too crap. Well, you're old enough much. now. Go ahead, watch it. 
Yeah, now I'm older, I just haven't gotten around to it. I just and people yell at me like, "You're gonna see the new Sopranos movie?" I'm like, "Well, I've only seen like four episodes yeah, out of order, and I don't know what was going on." So that's good. Probably I watched not. it like two weeks over COVID. Just banged it all out. It's very good. Oh wow, yeah, yeah. It's very good. How was it. the scene where uh, his mom is like CGI? Was that awkward? Oh, uh, you could tell. Yeah. I mean, you obviously tell the actress died. Enough. So they like they yeah. took clips of her from other things and yeah. they digitally put her on it. But it was like yeah. early 2000s, so it wasn't like enough yeah. enough to where I didn't know that she died in the making of it. And then like it came on screen, and I was like, oh god, she must have died in the middle. Of it. <laughs> yeah, it's like, <laughs> it's like, I've seen oh, the no. clip where she's like this, and, like the head's like floating. And yeah. Oh, that's weird. Yeah. So yes, that is it from well, us. Uh, let's uh, toast it's our not, cannoli. But, um, because we need to toast with our cannoli. We well, yeah, we got to toast the cannolis, cannolis and then I want to so, talk about this uh, cool thing that I'm doing. Can I? Um, right. Can I shout out the bakery? Yes. Okay, Just don't so say where is, it is. This is from Nonno's Bakery over here in uh, Ooh. in Hatboro, Pennsylvania. Well, no, I, I'm not. Wait a minute! I couldn't say the movie that? theater last time. <laughs> no, because I go to that. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't go to Nonos. <laughs> Nonos is great. They're actually from Sicily in a small town called called yeah. Carini in Sicily. Well, now, from, now, from now the guy who DMs you about foot pics, he's going to be shopping there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Every Sunday morning at eight a.m. <laughs> and they're having I espresso. Don't go there. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> I think I cut this out. Anyway, cut the all this. Yes, and God I want to tell it. you about this uh, <laughs> great thing I'm doing. Are we gonna are we gonna, oh, are we gonna toast our cannoli? We're gonna yeah, toast. Wait, 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 wait. Jesus oh, Christ. Christ. It's our big fucking cannoli. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. These are I'm sorry, cannolo. A cannolo. Cannolo. All right, all right, all right. Oh my god. Che cazzo. Right. Cheers. Oh, no. oh bravo. Cheers. Salute. Grazie al uh, Tony a hack the movies. Uh, uh, you already Pandrino. liked it. <laughs> Il film. Salute. This is the best authentic now, cannoli. I'm glad I'm you guys are here. Though. Thanks for having was, uh, I actually have a special assignment for Jess. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. I'm getting a little too tired of these other co hosts uh, and they're non Italianists. Oh. And them not respecting me for being Italian. Uh oh. So uh, I, gave have Jess to whack a, them all. I gave Jess a list and uh, she'll be taking care of all our non Italian co hosts. Oh. So uh, Joe's safe. Oh, Joe. Thank God. Tim Leave is alone. safe. Leave Tim is alone. like, I'm like. 2% Italian. I'm like, good enough for me. Oh, man. Johanna. Johanna's Italian. Yeah, but she likes the Irish side more. She's gone. Well, I uh, like them all. Kieran and, I'm sorry, Kieran and Sean O'Rourke, gone. Uh, so yeah, uh, Jessica, <laughs> she's good at her job. She'll be taking care of them right now. We're gonna do Italian? this. We're gonna enter this all Italian <laughs> era of Hack the Movies. Take it away, Jess. Question, uh, how do you turn off the safety on this gun? Oh, it's right here. Just click that. Oh, thanks, man. These hands are catch. Now that Jess has killed everyone uh make sure to like share and subscribe this video uh check us out on your podcast app of choice leave us a phone call at our voicemail line which i haven't done in forever they send answer. us stuff to our po box uh also i forgot to god damn it i keep forgetting to mention it at the beginning of the video um leave us a review on your podcast app of choice especially apple podcast we are almost in the top 100 for film podcasts no get way. out of town Tony. yeah awesome. so give us a nice uh five star rating a nice little comment there and My where can we podcast. find you you guys can find me on Instagram, TikTok, at Trisha's Italy. I'm actually starting up some Italian lessons. So if you check out my website, www.trishasitaly.com, send me an email, and I will give you some Italian lessons. And where can we yeah. find you, Frank? And I'm um, Trisha's brother. I don't do all that. Um, but you can find me <laughs> on Paul. Instagram at Frank underscore Volpe underscore. You're going to want to get a Twitter. He's an actor. I'm not, I'm not a Twitter kind of guy. Yeah, well, can, but for this show, you're going to want to get a Twitter. You can check it out my IMDb, Frank Volpe, and uh, I'll be uh, in a couple of movies and TV shows coming out in the next year. Nice, because you're a very good actor. And I, again, if I was casting a film, I would put you in it. Get out of town. <laughs> I wouldn't feel threatened do to not cast me. you in the film. Just don't, just, if you do cast me, don't cast me as like, you know, a mafia kind of guy, because it's really against Italian Americans. It really like is. It, it really yeah. is. Oh, <laughs> um, so that is it from us for real. Goodbye.
Ciao. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our other videos and Patreon page. Talk, talking, talking about tapes.